Greetings, gamers, and welcome to the 07 Iron Podcast, episode number two. So this time we have two new guests that are joining us, and we're going to be focused more on collection logging on this podcast. So as usual, I'm your host, Lon Jimrat, and I'm a collection logger, as you know, from my YouTube series. And currently, this is a spoiler, by the way, I'm at 1158 collection log slots. Um, besides that, I'm going to jump straight to the second person, which is 9227. So don't you, why don't you introduce yourself? Uh, hey, I'm 9227. I play a maxed iron. I do a little bit of skilling, a little bit of collection log goals, and hopefully more PVM goals in the future. Cool. Fulgore, you want to go next? Uh, sure. Uh, I'm Fulgore, uh, also playing a maxed iron. Uh, kind of same thing, just going for collection log goals and then trying to improve at the game. Uh, maybe do combat achievements later. Nice. And you, Salty? Uh, hello, everyone. I am known as Salty Devo or Suji Devo, back from Arrows 2 Days. Um, I'm a veteran Arrows player. I've been playing for 16 years. That's It has been uh, pretty nice, but uh, yeah, my greatest achievement on Arrows is, I guess, 200 mil all on Arrows 3 without MTX. And currently, I am collection log degen as loan. And I have a YouTube series ongoing. I'll make sure to put that in the description. You have to remind me, uh, Salty. Cheers. And uh, what's everyone's collection log slots, just so we uh, go over it? Oh, yeah. I am at 834. Cool. I'm sitting at 820. Cool. I'm at 883. Nice. So all around the 800 range. Right. Uh, except for one of us, uh, you know. Yeah, except yeah. for the B gen. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I guess but... we can go. Uh, let's just jump jump straight into it because there's a lot to discuss, and I think we're gonna go overboard on time. But uh, we'll see. Yeah. So uh, the first topic is about the recent poll, and on this poll, there was a few things that were polled, and more specifically, two things of interest was the steel baguette and the jar of darkness. So uh, as you know, the jar of darkness past the poll and it's going to be reduced to a 1 in 200 chance to receive from Skatiza, which is a huge change going from 1 in 2500. So um, we can start with that. So any thoughts on that? Who wants to go first to, to break the ice? Um, um, I, I could talk on that a little bit. Go for it. Um, mostly uh, <laughs> my, my biggest takeaway from it is people really don't know how to word polls properly at Jagex, and people don't know how to do the math for them either, unfortunately. <laughs> it's just kind of funny that one of those passed and the other didn't. You mean the scale baguette didn't pass? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we can go into the still baguette after. <laughs> but uh, I'm still happy that the Jar of Darkness passed. What's interesting too is the, the oh for sure the jar was pulled a couple months ago, a couple years ago actually for one in five hundred, and it failed. And the main reason why it failed is because the people thought one in five hundred was still too much. So it's nice that we got a middle ground of one in two hundred. Yeah, which is way more reasonable and feasible for us to get. Yeah, uh, I I might go next if that's okay. Go for it. Um, yeah, Jar of Darkness, in my opinion, is like obviously a really healthy one because I mean, I don't think there is anyone who would argue against it, at least they think there is not. And, um, uh, I, I mean, unless the people you know that got incredibly spooned for it and managed to get it within the one out of 2k rate, it was right. I would maybe just add not just that the drop rate as well, but like about the general about the jars in general that maybe they should have been on a tradable drop. Mm, but... Oh yeah, 100% agree yeah, for on sure. that. Big but, agree. Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess, hey, there is a positive too. I guess uh, we will have to do less Conar Slayer and less Jellies, or even more Conar Slayer or even more Jellies, because now that this goal is actually a realistic one, we will have to grind it. <laughs> Wait, just out of curiosity, so Hyger is 200 million Slayer, and he has 1,000 Skatizo. 
That means 40 mil Slayer doing Barrage Slayer is going to get you a drop rate for Jar. Does he have the Jar, though? Do you know? I think he does. I remember seeing it on his log. And, like, uh, when we were stalking his log last episode. Which is really cool, but, yeah. So that's that's good to know. So 40 mil Slayer XP doing Barrage Slayer, you'll get it. But doing Konar Slayer, it'll definitely be more XP than that. Yeah. That's not that yeah. far off of, like, Imbued Heart and anything. It's a little That's bit true. more, but ah, good point. It's I mean, such I mean a that... huge upgrade, though. Even for the abysmal rate, it still is it's just yeah. like an actual feasible rate. Yeah. Yeah. But for us as irons, it actually makes no difference in terms of completing the collection lock because you have to do so many jellies to get uh, hard clues that it, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Which is yeah, I was funny. about to say that too. <laughs> but uh, still nice. Uh, I'm definitely considering grinding it because i i want to grind like cringe shit just because it's more funny and a weirder flex you know yeah i mean as as long as you're done with Connor's layer there's like no point not to stack as many hard clues as you want from time to time and you know eventually you will end up getting it that's true but um yeah all right so I guess that covers a jar. So now we can talk about the baguette. So nine two two seven, you already uh, you already started. That. Oh yeah. So you can go ahead. Just uh, just funny to me that uh, like the the math wasn't really laid out very well to to a point where you could read it and go, oh okay, so this is the baguette's rate from this. This is the rate from this. No problem. Yeah, it's it like always. Like a lot of in... people even got confused. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. Goal, you can tell yeah. just by the poll results that one passed, but the other didn't, even though they were like comparable Same numbers. Thing. Yeah, yeah. That's that was strange. I actually have some talks on that that I did uh, on a table talk tablecloth earlier. So um, the still baguette before this change is a one in two fifty six from Quizmaster, and now, well, not now, but when they uh, in implement this update, you'll get. Uh, 1 in 64 chance of getting a still baguette when the uh, sandwich elite gives you a baguette. Which, in reality, is a 1 in 448, because there's a 1 in 7 chance of getting a, ba a baguette requested from the sandwich elite. So this buff is actually a 36% buff to the still baguette, going from uh, 5,888 random events down to 3,747 3, random events. So still really significant in terms of um, time save, but like, given that the uh, still by yet is essentially zero time, it's not as big as it seems, but uh, still cool. Yep. Just some random numbers to throw out there because I'm weird. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Love, love the math. <laughs> personally, I, I, this might be like unpopular, but I'm at, at one, per, like, from one side, I'm happy it didn't pass, but I'm also happy that, you know, just got an additional, even a really low chance, but to get like, it quicker because for example if like let's say all of the top top page uh, collection loggers right and actually most of these guys don't even have the baguette yet right yeah and um what i i'm trying to say by that is it's nice that if you play the game for longer you have or at least you had the better chance to get it up until now other than you know than a person that you know started playing let's say or doing collection log like a year ago and he didn't care about the events at all and he just gets spooned it and it's like basically ahead of the person that has been doing the collection log for three years if it makes any yeah. sense yeah 927 is familiar with that yeah there's a couple of those that work that way that are just so bizarre like oh hey you got the bloodhound cool you're a third of the way to all pets <laughs> yeah, that one's yeah, that Bloodhound especially is kind of stupid. But if you're going for full completionist, like uh, you know, with the pieces of the clues, it's you still like most likely if you ever decide to go for the uniques, you're gonna get the Bloodhound. Yeah, Bloodhound is zero time, but yep, zero time like really long term. <laughs> I'm just waiting for someone to complete the master clue log in general. And I'm just curious if it's going to be Jace or is it going to be Casey? Because Casey is doing Masters again, isn't he? Uh, I know he got into collection logging, but I'm not sure. Well, I mean, he's ranked too, so... 
and he's been stocking like he's been stacking up loads of glue caskets like in the past months because he hasn't greened out those logs not like not all of them and he's been working on that actually before this i when i was still at work i saw him tweet that he is streaming opening 1000 easy caskets so i'm assuming he's planning to finish masters what's like someday but yeah, Jace, I think Jace is number one, right? He's just one item away. From finishing Masters? Like the regular section? Yes. Oh, yeah, he sure. just needs one item. But that, if that's yeah, the case, that's awesome. Yeah, he was pretty close the last time I checked a while back. Yeah, the last time I checked, he got a mummy or was it Tanku piece? I don't know, and that left him like with... The last Master Unique as well, he said on the stream as I was watching. I think he got like two years ago. <laughs> And after two years, he got, like, second to last Master Unique, which is crazy. But that's actually Anyways, a, good, uh, a good transition to the next topic, which is, uh, is a collection lock completable? Now, we talked about this in the Duo Rambo with Not Hard around six months ago. But uh, things have changed a little bit, so I guess we can go back into it. So does anyone want to kickstart the discussion? First of all, shout out to Not Hard. Miss you, buddy. Miss you too, oh, shout out. Back. I, I actually ask have him added about on... him like weekly. <laughs> Dude, I have him added on Facebook. <laughs> I should just poke him and see if he's okay. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I, I, I'll go first, I guess, if no one's minds. But uh, up at least at this moment, I don't think no one, like anyone, will ever obviously complete it because of, well, you loan, you did the video. Counting the hours, that was an interesting one to watch. But um, unless they change something with, you know, the third age items in the sections of the collection log, it's just not realistic. And yep. assu and assuming as well, like the path that they have there, that they have been going on, one could say that I, I bet that they are going to do something in the future because they... If you notice, they have been slowly working on the like mega or extremely rare collection log items that you know, so people could actually complete them, or maybe it's just how I see it. I don't know, but like I think someone threw around ideas as well, like like that a specific third age unique could be, you know, not a specific, but just in general, third age could be as one unique in the log. That way, you know, you would need to get at least one third age from each tier of clue, and that way you would green log that section, but yeah, I'm not sure was talking if that's going to happen. That, uh, last cast. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I would like it for sure, but like, not sure if that's going to happen, to be honest. I, I don't want that. I just wanted to keep it as is. It's meant to be difficult for a reason, so it's fine. Yeah. I will say I do like yeah. when they split off the like the mega rare tables. Yeah, I feel like I, that I helped a yeah. lot. Yeah, yeah, that was a good yeah, that was nice. Yeah, it lets people compartmentalize everything, so it's like, yeah, I could say I finished, you know, hard clues or whatever, without having to get all the third age pieces. <laughs> it's a big difference. Yeah. But I do think that someone will finish the collection log, and it's going to be a normie. I don't think an iron is ever going to finish the collection log. It's going to be some yeah. mega spoon, too. Because, yeah, I mean, be that's the spoon. most realistic way it's going to happen. Yeah, I, I remember in, in that video you mentioned going over, like, the test scenarios and stuff, like running the simulations. And it's just like, even somebody that dedicates that amount of time, if they're just, like, that one in five unlucky, and it just, like, multiplies their hours by, like, three or something like that just pushes it yeah, from they're done. like they're technically <laughs> possible to literally it's just never gonna happen but there's a one guy in the um collection lock discord that has i think 11 or 12 third age pieces and uh, a lot of That's i think insane. he has two druidic bottoms too which is fucking crazy oh, oh it's gosh. it's um it's marnie isn't it yeah marnie i forgot his name but yeah, yeah. you got it that's like, yeah, actually insane and, yeah, like, I mean, pretty so low kill count. Well, high kill count, but low kill count for, like, what he has. Yeah. I mean, that... Would he, like, technically be the closest person to finishing it now? Based on that? Very good question. Someone would have to run some calcs. <laughs> and that's not yeah. going to be me. I... <laughs> yeah, no, that'd be, a, that'd be a big calculation. I think he's ahead by the chance of that he has the most third age uniques from Master Clues. 
because obviously you know master third age from master clues are a lot rarer and when you consider all the hours you know to get the clue and whatnot and so on and basically he has the mode because he has i think yeah he has pickaxe he has two or three pieces of druidic and something else and other people that are close to him most most of the third age items that they have are like from some easier tier like hard clues you know, so, mm. so they are missing the most of the third age pieces from master clues and elites and you have to get all the master clue ones first if to be efficient yeah, in quotations yeah. so the hard yeah, ones don't make sure. a difference for sure i mean they're technically passive if you are you know just obtaining master clues via hard clues that what the hell via or whatnot oh we didn't finish it what how did we yeah how did we not get it it was zero for me Bro, it, the volcano disappeared for me, bro. Yeah, I, I, yeah, it's I've gone for the me too. Thing on. I don't even see it. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> Unethical <laughs> plugins. I have to turn off Entity Hider? Oh yeah, okay, I see it now. Actually, it's kind of nice. You can just click straight through it now. Wow, that is... Okay. Oh, wait a minute. It's going to mess it up when I go to mine it, though. Hmm. That just, like, screwed us. I mean, as long as one of us mines it, we're fine. I think it's 1 HP. Be right no. Uh, and now it's back. All right. Just that means we the killed whole it and we regen the health on the same tick that we killed it. Oh my gosh. Oh, and it's full health now. Oh, that's so uh... funny. Dude, that just completely wrecked our conversation. <laughs> just entirely derailed. Um. Okay, I guess we can just pass to the next topic. Yeah, ne yeah. next question. <laughs> um. Okay, so here I wrote Normie versus Iron Man collection log. There's a big difference between the two. I can't buy Laren's keys, and it's sad. Yeah, that's a one yeah, big one. Yeah, imps as well is massive. I oh wish. my god, imps, yeah. And Dragonstone just... armor is viable for them as well, which is huge. Yeah. Yeah, but let's. I guess let's just put out the things that change the most for, for Iron Man versus the mains, like... For example, Corporeal Beast. That one's pretty slow compared to mains. If you yeah. don't do the dolo or whatever. What else? Well, obviously, clues are an obvious thing. Oh, yeah. I guess there's a ton of different like boss boosting in general. Yeah, yeah as you mentioned, Laren's keys too. But I guess compared to the other grinds, it's not really that big of a deal. But still, it could be basically zero time if you just buy the keys. Bro, I spent six months doing Willby Slayer, dude. <laughs> you mean to say, like, bro? Yeah. And I could have, I think it, if I would have paid like 200 mil, I would have bought it all and saved six months of my time. Yep. You mostly would have gotten a solid chunk bag because when you did it, I think Dagenheim was still pretty expensive, right? Yeah, but the keys were like 400k each when I did it. Now the keys have dropped in price, they're like 300k each. Which is crazy because that's nothing. But I think it's because of Barash Slayer it made getting keys a lot easier. I will say, yeah. although uh, like there's there's a lot of things you can look at and just say, oh, this is different because it's easier, or you know, like we have to do this. I am really glad that the collection log incentivized a lot of main players to start, you know, going for these different things that you never would have before. Oh yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah. Like, they sort of became the Iron Man that they dread so much. <laughs> yeah, they, it's yeah. true. As as funny as it sounds, but it's true. <laughs> yeah, like you get all the charm, but less of the hassle. Yeah. And you make some GP. True. Yeah, man, if I could sell all my uh, duplicate gnome scarves, you know, that'd be great. That's I only got the one. I didn't get any dupes in Gnome Restaurant, so it's still. But yeah, just for like some fun facts, like Normie Collection Log is twice as fast as Iron Collection Log just because of shades. They can buy uh, the, the yeah, shade yeah. remains and the oil and just do it. No, they don't have to kill like oh, 500,000 Sarachnus. Yeah, and also they're getting a 5% buff on the shades because now the Elite Diary on Combat Achievements is going to be applied to uh, 
two shades as well. Which, like, just that simple 5% buff is literally, like, a 3,500-hour yeah. save. <laughs> like, it's actually insane. Yeah. Jesus oh, yeah, it's, Christ. It's pretty crazy. So, yeah. Just, like, a fun fact to throw in there. But, uh, yeah, I guess the next question here is the unrealistic goal of completing... Of completion of mindset. Wait, what the hell? Sorry, I'm trying to do this all at the same time and I can't read. <laughs> unrealistic goal of completing completion and your mindset knowing that it's unrealistic. I, I just got three words for that mindset. What are the and words? it's all you need, and it's all you need to hear. Number go up. <laughs> Even if yeah. it takes months, number go up. Yeah, I mean, yeah, honestly, still, it, true. It, in, in the end, it still it goes up, dude. Yeah. Now, I can help rationalize it by just saying I, I'm not going to super worry about, like, all the clue mega rares. You know, I, you could probably come up with a number that doesn't include some of the ridiculous stuff. I'm sure people near the top have already done that. We might not know of anybody, but they, they're just going for the number without any of the mega rares. Well, like, eventually yeah. you'll get to a point where you have nothing else to do besides clues. And that's yeah. kind of where you complete the collection log, in my opinion. In, like, quotations. Yeah, but, like, once, if you do get to that point, which no one has yet, but I guess Basili is pretty close, in the end you're gonna, yeah, farm clues and you just wait for new content. And depends on how long the new content takes to complete. Like, for example, Toa now. I, uh, I, you, I, maybe you made the calculation. How many hours do you need to complete that? Now on top of the, like, it's like seven hundred you know, hours. -ish. So you know, let's, let's say you are like really close to completion before Toa, and then Toa gets released, and you got like seven hundred at least hours until you, like of a new grind until you complete it. You're most likely gonna get something new, and like it. Not sure how big it's gonna be, but it's just gonna keep on you know adding yeah. new content to it so eventually you're just never gonna be done like if you guys are it's it's basically i'm uh, not sure if you any of you guys played rs3 after it, it it before before old after old school released still but like maybe you know the concept of true trim oh like a trimmed completion escape yeah, basically, like, um, there is obviously the completion escapes on RS3. And um, after, you know, years passed, people basically, everyone, basically the only hard requirement, if you call that hard, was Castle Wars. Like, because you needed 5,000 games. And after that, you know, people just made, the community just made their own list and called it True Trim. But basically, you need to complete every single achievable, non-repeatable content, you know, that you get some kind of a message in game or it doesn't allow you to do it again, right? And basically, that content, it just, it like, you know, added the community for, like, just ridiculous amount of hours that you need to complete it. And basically, it's unrealistic, but people up to this day apparently still chase it. So I feel like that's going to be the thing with Collection Log, if you look at it that way. Yeah, people are always going to go for it. Well, it's yeah. kind of like it's kind of like 200 mil all steals. Like, back in the day, people thought it was impossible. And then slowly over time, people were getting closer and closer. And eventually, someone said, oh, fuck it, I'm sending it. And they ended up finishing yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I yeah. still can't believe that Hyger is about to get... Like 200 mil on old school on Iron Man. It's yeah. Last it's I checked, just, it was 14 mil XP away. Just yeah, insane. like it's it just as a person who did that myself, like on old school alone. Like when people's when Forsberg got the 200 mil all, and he did like even that looked like with the XP rates he got it. Like it looked so slow, and now that Iron Man has got it, it's just like proves how significantly significantly faster everything has become i think that and, he, and the the level of dedication and like skill of the players as well yeah like lynx titan or forsberg he definitely showed like he just put in the hours and also be highly highly efficient 
and Higer's yeah, done the but, same thing. But the question in the end is like, what does that person do in real life that, you know, did he actually manage to do that? Because a regular player, let's call it, that has a job, I don't assume a person with a nine to five or whatever could do it. Like the way that, let's say the top page has done, I don't know. Oh, definitely. Yeah. 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 And now he's going to finish the XP and he's going to kick all of our asses with the collection log too. Dude, I'm so <laughs> excited to see him fly up there. <laughs> He's, yeah. he's already, he's already at pretty almost high. 1k. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah I checked something. it yesterday. I was about to say, I he's think... got more than me. <laughs> yeah, he has got, got more than me too, and I'm actively going for collection lock. Yeah. Yeah, when he actually sends it, he like it's he's going to be unstoppable. He's going to pass all it's of us. He's going to be crazy, yeah. But I mean, cool. it, it's... The... Yeah, but it still depends. Like, is he actually does like is he actually good at PVMing? Because that's a pretty yeah, important part of this. Higer's oh. a monster. Yeah. Oh, he he had the. I we brought it up people on the last just podcast. Good at the game and just never burns out. Just can blow it all. Yeah. yeah, it's like a dangerous mix, dude. It's unstoppable. Yeah. He's like the the nowadays swami man. <laughs> But, um, I st I st <laughs> yeah. Okay, I guess we can we can move on to the other topic, which is the overall state of clue scrolls. So I put here acquiring clues, and then I put in capital letters eclectic fucking sucks. Yeah, I knew that was fine. So I think I'm yeah, hinting. I... At, <laughs> I'm hinting at it. Yeah. I just I actually I said that like one in one day, and I actually commented when they were mentioning the quality of lives. You know what? I would be satisfied. I would be satisfied if they just released an alternative method, or like for pickpocketing or something. Like, because even with the easy clue, easy clues as a comparison, you get like what thirteen easy clues if you do it efficiently or more, right? Pickpocketing ham members. Yeah, it's and like, like if if you could do like I don't know how many clues do you get doing eclectics like efficiently six it's eight an hour assuming like you catch your own and you're like, giga sweating and you do your clues in between trips yeah okay so that's it like if you could i i don't care like make it six make it seven like just so i don't need to do eclectics because i hate them with a passion yeah me too that's the reason why i haven't touched the mediums after ranger boots yeah, yeah same i, I, I don't know Most... I, I don't think i hate them quite as much as you guys do but it also might just be stockholm syndrome at this point yeah and i feel like so part of it is uh... just puro puro being so miserable yeah also the also the jars too like why why is the, why can't we just buy stacks of jars i mean <laughs> like just yeah let that's me the that, worst please. part i think like, in, in, I, in I know opinion. that I know that the hunter kit is zero time when doing ZMI and whatever, but what if you don't go for XP? How the hell are you supposed to get the jars? Yeah, uh, the amount of jar generators I've ended up purchasing across yeah. time has just been insane. It's that is the oh. worst part to me. If you've, if you've never been down bad enough... Mediums? What the fuck? <laughs> I said, oh my I, gosh. I, it started as a search for rangers. I still don't have them. <laughs> You don't have them, dude. What's what? your completion nope. out of one fifteen? Uh, I have, I'm missing two elegant pieces <laughs> and rangers, and that's it. <laughs> so you're one twelve. Oh my, dude, he's yeah. gonna complete. Dude, he's gonna complete medium clue section with a ranger bull drop. Oh, that's so you, unfortunate. Yeah, I, I, I actually don't want to see rangers now because it will keep me pushing medium that's gonna, clues until I that's see. That's gonna him. be your, you're gonna get the number one spot on the Runescape ready, dude. If you do that, <laughs> yeah, Dude, it's crazy. Yeah, that'd be a lot of upvotes. Like, once you finish mediums, you never have to do a medium clue ever again. You always trade them in yeah. the masters. It's gonna be that great. Sounds yeah. like a dream. That's awesome. Yeah, I can't wait for that one day. Damn, I know that Nate said it when you, the reason why you enjoy collection logging is because uh, of mediums, which is like yeah, the... it, it started out like because. By the time I had Max, which is only a few months ago, I had never really considered doing collection log stuff. And then, like, my slots just kind of kept getting on up there, just going dry for Rangers. And I was like, you know what? I really don't mind doing clues all that much. Maybe I should go for collection log. And here I am. <laughs> so, actually, that's I mean, a I... good question, too. Like, what made you guys start collecting collection log? 
like Fogo already answered with medium clues, which is like a Stockholm syndrome of doing collection. <laughs> yeah. On. How about you, Salty, in 1987? Um, I mean, personally, I, I, I had, I had, I had finished playing Aura 3 and I switched to old school and, um, I started playing Iron Man because mains just, main just didn't give me the satisfaction of playing it anymore or whatever. And I, I played for like two years, then I quit. And when I came back, the collection, you know, like before I quit, collection log log was out, but I didn't really care about it. And then when I came back, like I needed, I dropped rated all of my items. So, you know, whenever I, I needed to rebuild, it was pretty fun to see like how many, well, since I was making videos, I always liked, you know, to see like. Oh, just for, you know, for example, when I was making progress series, it's like, oh, there's the width number three. And collection log made it so easy to see how many act items you actually got. Because if you had, you know, played or haven't touched much content after it got released. So I just started going for those numbers and I really enjoyed them. And since I had gone the XP route before, I, it was just not interested to me. And that's what I hang on to it. And I just really enjoy it a lot now. Yeah, that's actually crazy that you had 200 mil on RS3. Yeah, I hadn't even known that. Yeah, that's six years ago, though, so... Jeez, dude. Uh -oh. How, like, I know it's like a... Just quickly, because I'm curious. <laughs> How was it? Was it easy, hard, fast? I mean, it's RS3, you know, like, I, st I started with the raids. It was, I started playing this game in, well... I won't say the exact year, because, you know security and stuff <laughs> yeah. but like when, what security? My, when i yeah when i we, we, yeah what security um uh, i started when i was started playing you know i wasn't doing anything efficient i was getting shit xp drops but then i dungeon the engineering got released and it was my first 200 million skill because i just i just did it not because i was going for 200 mil but because it was so goddamn enjoyable if any of you guys did dungeon you maybe had that too and oh, after that, you know, yeah. yeah. And after that, everyone just you know, after you get a used to get one two hundred million, everyone was like, "So what's next?" And then you're yeah. okay. You you do like a cooking, you know, just because you want to FK. And then like I started doing for it, and once I've got to like two bill XP, everyone's well, you have to do five point four now. And that's just how I did it. Plus, Alkan was making fun of me for not getting five point two bills, so I just did it for him. <laughs> I fucking love Alkin, dude. He's so good. Yeah, he's 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 still rose. You know what he said after I got? What took you so long? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was top page too, but I lost all the ranks because well, MTX. I didn't buy spins, and everyone just passed me. Damn. That's yeah. Interesting. It's like a whole other world because I quit when RS3 came out. I quit uh, when e I think it was ELC. Our RS3 was the breakthrough for skillers, just like shift click drop was breakthrough for skillers on old school. <laughs> because the action bar just gave so much, like made so many, basically made skilling so much quicker. You know, like you could like literally do zero tick actions with like banking and stuff because you just need to click two buttons and you bank and you start making stuff and whatnot. So just made it more AFK and faster. Yeah, basically, it wasn't as hard, but it was still hard, don't get me wrong, I will... It's a nice thing to have been done, you know, before, but... Plus, the feeling was great. But after that, you know, like, what now? Yeah. That was the that was the hardest choice, and I ended up just quitting. <laughs> what now? Yeah, I just quit my main, and I made an Iron Man, and the rest is history. So don't do 200 mil all skills, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we're basically going for that in terms of collection log, so... Yeah, but yeah, it's yeah, we're, not... And really worse, as actually. As we, yeah, yeah, it's worse because yeah. it's <laughs> random. Yeah, it's... Anyways, I dragged. Let's get back to that. No, no, no. Okay. You're... No, it's was... interesting because I got interesting, about yeah. the RS3 side and we're so, like, uh, we're so sheltered from the RS3 lifestyle that we're just, like, we don't know anything. Yeah, it's good to get perspective because I think a lot of you you guys have played 
for longer than I have in general. Like I didn't start playing this other than when I was like a, a little kid in like elementary school. But like I, I started this account in 2020. Oh damn! So, like, oh, the perspective. Of... And you're already maxed. <laughs> Holy shit! Yeah, I, I put a lot of time in. Dude, Man, me too. De- Ever since yeah. devalued COVID-19. skilling. Jeez. <laughs> You know, one one thing what is nice to to see when you know yet when, when if you played RS two or RS three before, right? And then you know when they well, let's just say it, they copy paste updates like the clearer one sounds like next. Like when we did next, when they released next, it was so goddamn good. Like when mod Grisel, the J mod that you know was responsible for creating new bosses, he did next. Everyone just he even himself he said like. It's just not possible to do a boss better than next because you know the coding, the you know the basically the structure of that way that year's Runescape was not capable of developing another boss. That's why they said they released the evolution of combat and whatnot. And you know, like as I remember, the next was so enjoyable, and you see next now on old school without the certain parts that made it fun, and people are just miserable. Well, next is just brain dead click boss, but there's a few small things you can do that makes a big difference. Like for, I was talking to Fair about this, like eating on certain times between cooldowns and like uh, running at certain tiles, doing five point three take flinching, like some small things like that that can save a lot of damage and make the fight slightly more efficient. But it's not. I don't. I just don't find it as fun. I prefer doing raids. <laughs> Do you yeah. wait? Next is next is not soloable on old school, right? No, it's in. in well, I mean, one guy did it, uh, Port Kazard, but yeah, it took like. Didn't it take like hours? Yeah, like right? three yeah. hours or something. But and it's it not got realistic. patched. Yeah, it was yeah. the, uh, the oh. door, uh, red X door method. I mean, that's how Wolves did it too back in Aros Two, I think. Or what? He was just walking under, and the pathings were different. I don't know, but but he also was had about to say... yaks and dude, look at dude. I'm an Aros Three god. Yeah. Turmoil, <laughs> soul split. Yeah. yeah. Chaotics were best in slot back then as well. Plus there was yeah, he did it with Void though. But I was about to say we had Pernix, but I guess Masori is now in the game too. Anyways. But yeah, it's a uh, no, fuck Max. Eventually, I'll go back. But uh, we can go on to the next topic. So I said here, Serachnus versus Shades. I already kind of spoke about it. How uh, for Irons you have to do Serachnus, yeah. and for Mains you have to do Shades, and it's literally twice as fast for Mains. And they can buy Implings on top of it, so really big advantage on their part. Uh, the next one here is future meta ideas that could change or revamp some of the collection log grinds. So anyone has any ideas? Um, I mean, they'd have to do um, something with clues, right? That that would make like the biggest impact. I feel like. Oh yeah, that'd be huge. Like it's a sweeping change to clues, <laughs> either like letting you stack them or. or Actable clues, way. come on. Yeah. I know, like a uh, a lot of people are against. I mean, I... clues, but we can talk about it because it's actually a really interesting topic. I I yeah. I don't mind. I don't want the stackable clues. Just give me stackable masters so I can open up my stacks of other clues in peace. Yeah, like that's, that would honestly... That's all, that that's all you really need. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, I always don't even, would, don't even give idea. me, like... Oh, go, go ahead. Just give me, like, 10 or at least 25. Like, that would be enough. Like, it's... Just so you know, like you could easily stack up a thousand clues of any tier, and you could you you wouldn't need to leave every two freaking seconds to do a master clue. That would be not that would be a solid good start, I think. I do yeah. think it was a bit of an oversight when they made caskets stackable that they didn't anticipate people, you know, opening a large amount at once. Stacking so... caskets, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I do think, how, like for stackable clues, I used to be super against it. But now I kind of want them to make it so you can stack up to three of each tier. Yeah. Yeah, I think, like, limiting a number. I always thought it would be a good idea to tie it behind CAs. I always felt that that'd be a good reward. Like, each tier lets you stack up to, like, three or five or something like that. Like, like five, but you cap it at elite so it doesn't go up to like, GMs. Yeah, yeah. That'd be cool. But, like, uh, oh, you can also make it cap towards the... Um... Like the clue scroll milestones, like the 600 beginners, 500 easies, and so on. Mm-hmm. 
So if you get all of those, you can stack up to five or three. Or three, I think, is yeah, a good yeah, number. Yeah, yeah, that'd be cool. And the only reason why I want that is because when I'm doing raids, like, sometimes I get an elite clue, and I kind of want to ditch my team to do the elite clue, but then I lose my team. So it's yeah. not... Like, usually I just bite the bullet and stay, but it, like, kind of sucks. Yeah. Elites are good. The best I've done is just try to leave a spot open at Watson and, like, quickly go and come back. If I get another one, I'm just out of luck. I don't do mass. I don't trade in my masters though. I just do all the elites. Mm. Ah, it's misery. Yeah, but they're they're they're, they're chill and and like I'm rank I'm second page elites, which is kind of funny because I don't do them. <laughs> I I I I like maybe you can answer this to me, Lone, as well. I don't understand why people hate elites. I personally I love doing them. They're so easy. Yeah, me too. So quick. Yeah, the rewards well, are. I've, yes. I've got a good the answer for you for that one. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, here's here's my reasoning and it's purely from a ui issue why does it work differently than all the other tier of clues like oh, when you get a challenge yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah that's that, strange. that annoys me for no other reason than it's yeah. just a difference in ui and it throws the me off every also time do that but it's like when you uh, open like drawers and something like you have to oh, click oh search. some of the drawers work uh, and some easies. don't yeah there's like a yep. lack of consistency. Like they added steps and they forgot to like <laughs> do a read across yeah. on the other locations. <laughs> and it makes sense too. You have a bunch of different developers. One of them did, you know, probably all of the elite clues and or the led the team for it. And, yeah, that's true. Yeah, and like never referenced the other clues. He was like, oh yeah, this is how those work. That's funny. I mean, there's a lot of oversights on Jagex's part, but it is what it is. Overall, we're, I mean, we're all still stuck addicted to the game, so, uh, <laughs> yeah, so they're, they're doing, doing something job. right. <laughs> yeah. They can do whatever they want. It's not going to stop anything. As long as they don't touch Look, my we... Iron Man symbol. <laughs> so... You're going to have to start paying $8 a month for it. It's a, it's going to be a new check mark. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nah, dude. I don't, I don't marry <laughs> side. Um, but yeah, clues are something they should, that would be cool to touch on. Or not, whatever. But uh, we can move on to the next topic, which is actually a topic I'm really, uh, really fascinated about, and that's the collection log capes. So right now there's four types of capes. There's the three raids, and there's also LMS capes. So what are your thoughts on the 2K raids capes? I don't know why they were <laughs> even, like, made a thing. Yeah. I just don't understand. I, I wasn't wasn't it so they released challenge mode raids and they added the twisted kits right but they there wasn't really enough of a reward to sh flex your achievements so they added the capes now I think they added it all together and they and yeah, they made yeah, an oversight like that... on the CMs they should have made regular chambers count for the capes as well yeah but it's I mean, another I don't... consistency thing yeah like it counts yeah. for it counts for chambers it doesn't count for top but it counts for toa. <laughs> Yeah, like when I when I was when we were talking earlier as well, like like in my opinion, it looks like they are making it easier for like really hard or time consuming items to get completed easier. Like that's what I meant to like I am I still believe that in this some future it might be really like you know argumentative or really dramatic when they do it. They might fall changing those chamber capes to work. As the TOB or TOA, what do you think would happen if they did that? And should they do that? I don't think they should. I think they should leave it as is. But if they yeah, did change I think it, I wouldn't complain. Point. As long as they do it now, <laughs> not in like a year yeah. when I have it done. Yeah, it, it's I, I one am... of those changes that if they're going to make it, they need to make it sooner rather than later. Or announce it. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm biased. I want them to do that because I have zero CM. I basically hate raids. But... Oh, yeah, I'm supposed to teach you CM, so I'll teach you with RNG. Don't worry. No, no I'm, st I'm, <laughs> I'm still getting used to doing normal raids. At least they found a partner from the clan, so I'm as happy as I can be. No, but like, oh, man, uh, we could have just done a four man CM this whole time. Jeez. <laughs> Bro, that's. <laughs> Four men's are actually horrible scale, but we could have gotten a yeah. plus one and done a five man. <laughs> Would have been funny. But cool. Oh. Oh, I thought someone got two hundred mil, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shout out to I'm Snakey eh, for carrying me through raids, by the way. Your boy, dude. It's actually crazy too, because in the CC, when I joined three years ago, 
the CC was all about chambers. There was chambers teams nonstop going on. I remember I would log in. I would say any coxers, and if no one would answer, I would log off and <laughs> do something else. <laughs> it was Wait, was was Theo was Theo B out yet then? Yeah, but we were all too. I was too shit for top back then, so. Yeah, it definitely shifted in the clan from the meta of like Tob every day to TOA every day now. Yeah, it's it's nice. I like it. The the we're gonna have a, co a podcast on the CC soon, probably like episode four. Current oh, for sure. So. Or five. I think it'd be cool yeah. to. Uh... That'd be a good one to listen to because I'm like basically brand new in the grand scheme. Yeah, of things. same. And there's a lot going like... on before my time even, so there's a lot to talk about. Like, did you know that the owner of the CC was not Sweep? I had no idea. Before Sweep, yeah, I don't, there was some I don't guy know called all the Alec, lore. And before Alec, there was some girl called Sarah that was the owner of the CC. Huh. It's interesting. Because I didn't even, I never met her. But yeah, that's like a little sneak peek for episode 5 or 4. <laughs> <laughs> the the heffy sode. Episode. Yeah, yeah. So when you wrote that, I laughed so hard. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm so glad you waited for me, guys. <laughs> okay, so um, okay, I'm gonna talk about the capes because the capes are big for me because I actually have the 2K top cape, as most of you know. Oh, you do? You have 2K top? Really? I do, dude. Wow. <laughs> on the last, on the last week, crazy. I did 140 tops in a week. Jesus Christ. So bad. <laughs> Dude, that's 140 TLBs you could have carried me. True. That's true. I, was, I did 20 hard modes in like one sitting in quotation marks. Like, oh man. I had I found a good team and I just couldn't leave. <laughs> I was like, I'm just... Yeah. Oh, uh, it was fun. Oh, that's... Take take advantage when you have those 100%. Oh, I, I, if you have a good team, you sleep deprive yourself. <laughs> you have no choice. Okay. <laughs> Okay, the capes. But, um, yeah, I, I think I definitely would like the green log, the raid section. Uh, like, 2K CMs is a little daunting to me, though, because it's kind of hard and long. But yeah. 2K Toas, I think, is more feasible. But I'm not oh, sure. Oh, yeah, there's, do, so. I think I'll do there's they a definitely whole meta for that already. Change. Sorry, what were you saying, Fulgore? Yeah, I was saying they, they definitely made the right change, making it not like hard mode top or like expert TOA compared to like the CMs. Because like the, I mean, imagine if the 2K CMs cape was just normal chambers. I mean, that cuts the time by like a third or something. But it also makes it's it the, much it's the easier. only one that's like, oh yeah, for sure. You don't like need a Tebow either. And no ice to start it. <laughs> Yeah. So what what is it for irons now? Aren't there like three irons that have two K plus CM? Yeah, there's only three of them right now with two K. Yeah, it's like I, I even looked it up on rate. If you're getting you know like sixty K point CMs, it takes a little over a thousand to green log all the drops. Yeah, it's, on average. Uh, so the two K is just crazy. Regulars. So yeah. So you definitely should finish, but if you go dry on like the pet or the dust or something, you're fucked. Like if you have oh, your yeah, two K CMT and you're missing something from chambers, you're just like, ugh. That's depression. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're like by default extremely unlucky already. Yeah. Uh, which is why I'm that's scared a... about because I'm still missing the pet and it's the rarest one. So. That's yeah. just bad bad account seed. Bad RNG. You gotta, you gotta re roll account. But um Yeah. I... yeah. I see LMS cape as well in the question. Yeah, that's what oh. I was gonna get at. I wrote here: Is LMS cape dumb? Should LMS be boostable as it is for mains? So I can talk about that quickly because most of you, maybe you guys know, but uh, people listening don't know. But for mains, there's a way to boost LMS. Now you can only play LMS in the competitive world, which is filled with bots and other players. So obviously you can't boost there. But there's an unofficial competitive world that you can play LMS on and those require GP so each player has to put one mil GP to play and then the winners split the pool but you need to have 23 alts to boost you and a few people in the collection on discord they actually did this to the 1k tape and it cost them around 5 bill which is insane 
Good lord. But irons are not able it, to do it because irons are not allowed to play. I'm not sure if you're allowed or not, but even if you were allowed, no, you're not allowed to play it competitive because you, you make GP from it. So irons cannot boost LMS. So that's my yeah. second question. It was like a two-part question. As, firstly, is LMS cape dumb? And secondly, should LMS be boostable for irons? I mean, both of the... I, I think both Basilegis and Casey both boosted, right? Uh, I'm not sure about Casey, but Basilegis did, yes. And you can tell, by the way, because if you look at their log, they have like a thousand wins, but they don't have many kills. Or yeah, they don't have many games. They will have like twelve hundred yeah, games, and you're like, okay, you have a ninety percent win rate. Unless it's like a god peak here, like that's unlikely. So. <laughs> Even then, yeah, this is not gonna happen. Yeah, yeah. I I'll, I'll straight up go ahead and throw my opinion. I think the LMS cape is dumb. <laughs> I mean, I mean the awkward silence. I think rounds it up for everyone's opinion. I, yeah. I would definitely put it up there. <laughs> alongside like the 2k cm is an extremely daunting one and unfortunately it's also like incredibly skill based like, yeah you're not gonna yeah. randomly get a yeah. thousand wins you're going to i mean yes you'll improve on anything doing it over time but you're gonna need to consistently be quite good to to reasonably get that cape yeah, it's also just not consistent with like the other mini games like there's no wins cape for castle wars or like, that's true. It, it, it's like the only mini game that like you have to win x amount of times. But imagine if all bosses had a two K K C cape. If you kill two thousand two thousand volcano, you get a cape, and they're all on the collection log. Yeah, <laughs> like they, they could have done that too, and that would have been cringe, but it would have been fine. Yeah, like, my mindset. It, it, I, it honestly wouldn't change that much, right? Because I mean, half the yeah. bosses you already have to get the pet. Yeah, but if you spoon the pet, you're kind of stuck going a little Yeah, it, it just makes it... Which is like boohoo so, like, at that point. Yeah, it's true. You can't get spooned anywhere. Yeah, it sucks. Like, my opinion on LMS Cape is, I do think it's dumb, but since it's in there, I don't mind it being there. I'm not going to go for it anytime soon. I might go for, like, all items except for the Cape, just for, like, boost my collection log stack. But I'm yeah. not able to do more than, like, 15 minutes of LMS, and then I get either tilted or triggered... Or just like my hands hurt and I have to stop and do something else. Yeah, and I think for... that's part of my problems with it is like I, I don't have the PKing background and surely could learn it, but it would just be an incredibly frustrating thing to sit there and be like, okay, I just lost 10 in a row. I'm no closer to this 1000 wins. Yeah, it's it's a yeah. daunting one. I'd rather do two KCMs than one KLMS, honestly. <laughs> like... Oh yeah, for sure. And I'm so bad at PKing. <laughs> I mean, because uh, my account's new enough as it is, so I have like zero experience PKing at all. But uh, maybe one day I'm... they make it boostable for irons. Like honestly, dude, if it was five build to get one K wins for irons, I would pay it. Fuck it. We pot chambers and Toa and fund LMS <laughs> with the GP. Oh, yeah, especially. Especially if it doesn't come from raw GP on the iron account. Like if it's oh, yeah, the other accounts pay their own. Because so if I yeah. bill on an iron, it would be a little rough. Yeah, never mind. I wouldn't be able to do it then. Yeah, that's a lot of work, Kev. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be a rebel and I'm just not going to touch that log, I think, at all. Like not even going to get the items. You're zero out of 32 in that log? Yep. Damn. It's actually nice to save it for later because like... Uh, so the cheap items are really easy to get, even if you're bad at Yeah, PC. some of them are some of them are really inexpensive. Yeah, and you can sell back the uh, untradeable ones, like the halos and all that, which is pretty yeah. nice too. But if if you go for one k wins, you'll have enough to buy them all anyways, so it doesn't really matter long term. But But yeah, hopefully LMS becomes boostable for irons. Or hopefully there's like a bot farm that's really bad that that like starts. And we can like Yeah, it make, makes them. it easier to win. <laughs> that would be cool too. So if anyone is a botter, please make a shit bot please, farm. <laughs> please make yeah, just wait, yeah, let yeah, us know before you release them into the line. <laughs> We're gonna that'll be our next unethical banning in the in the clan. <laughs> or if we're take a two week ban for one two weeks. <laughs> Uh, okay, I'm I'm trolling by the way. Sorry, Jagex. 
Okay, so uh, now we have uh, another section which is just like a question spree. And it's like a bunch of different questions that we can ask and then each give our answers and discuss. So the first question here is personal reasons for collection logging. Oh yeah, do you want to go like in an order? I know. Uh... I should, uh, yeah, I should probably. <laughs> Does someone want to start? <laughs> I can start. Go for it. For yeah, for me, a lot of it is. It gives you a lot of options to play how you want to play in the moment. Like so, I, I like for my account, I went really quickly to max, and now I'm, if I didn't do collection log, I'd just be stuck only able to do like PVM stuff. Like you know, have to pay attention you know, be efficient and things like that. But with the collection log, there's just so much stuff on there that it's like, oh, I, you know, I want to relax. I can go do, you know, trouble brewing in AFK. Or if I, I could work on raise logs if I don't want to AFK and I want to actually play the game. It just unlocks, like, so many different ways to play. There's just so much stuff to do. Yeah, it narrows down over time, though. But it's nice that you can, like... Pet hunting is a part of collection logging. Clues is a part of it. Mini yeah. games, PVMing, raids, everything's in there. So it's just like a yeah. You actually brought up a good point. I I had one question for you that I think could maybe resonate with the the rest of us because we're all in like the eight hundreds. I was gonna ask you at what point did it like change from being like you could get a slot like whenever you wanted, pretty much. Like at what <laughs> point did it start getting like really hard? That's like a that's a really good question. Shit, like pre one thousand was really fine because it was always something yeah. to do. And also remember that I did a lot of PVMing before I did collection logging, so like uh, mm -hmm. my PVM section was inflated. But I'd say at around eleven hundred to uh, like in between a thousand fifteen and eleven hundred is when it really started hitting a brick wall, and yeah. I ran out of like easy shit to do. But like it, it might be a little was... sooner for you or around the same thing. But the one thousand yeah. mark is really where like everything changes and you start seeing like the the game a little differently. Yeah. It starts becoming like a real long term grind. Like I'll give you an example. Like uh Friday I was like thinking about what grind to do next. Because I finished a certain section and I'm not gonna spoil for the YouTube audience. Mm -hmm. And I was debating like what what next section I should go for green log. And then I was doing the calcs, and I realized that MTA is, like, super efficient for me to do. For 40 hours for five slots is, like, super efficient. Yeah. And I was just like, bro, fuck me, dude. I don't want to do MTA. Yeah, you just really don't want to do that. Yeah, I got to see the live-action MTA molding. It was great. It's like, either I do 100 hours of Seraklis for one slot, or I do 40 hours of MTA for five slots. It's like... Yeah. I mean, I, I can't speak for loan because I'm not as high in the log, but like what I found out to do is a nice way to do, like if you have a grind that you dread and it has more than one item, you know, but you can get it done separately one by one. I just like, for example, MTA, I just look like I set myself a goal that I get one piece per episode and it like I didn't even get bored of it that way. Mm -hmm. So it was like slowly over time building towards it. Yeah, like it worked wonders for me. Like, and if I find like something like that now, like I just do it that way. Yeah, I kind of, I was going to do one item at the time as well, but I kind of shifted goals a little bit, which I guess we can talk about that too. Because I don't think we mentioned what our current collection log goals and future goals are. Is that any of the questions? Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, that's actually the next question. Dude, fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm washed. I'm sorry. <laughs> Too much is okay now. <laughs> um, Too yeah, much sure. Let's just jump to the straight one. The next question. So, personal collection all goals, achievements, level. Why did I write level? I guess you just meant slots. It was that four ten you, you did. Yes. <laughs> Too many. Yeah. Too many tours. Uh, but yeah, who, someone wants to break the ice because this is a quite a like a, a lengthy question. So, what are your current yeah. collection log goals? Well, oh, I've got I've got a big one actually. I'll I'll toss out here because I talked with it. you briefly about it. Yes, but I, I was it's this is like something I had been thinking about all the way since I was in my last clan, just because everybody hated collection log spam in there, and so it was highly amusing. <laughs> 
Um, but I was looking at it and I was like, what theoretically, like within reason, could you bank? Like, what could you have the points, you know, for shops and everything to just be able to send all of these different things at once? And then in specific, like in regards to what I could do, and I looked at it, and within reason, I have about 108 collection log slots of things you can just, you know, do Castle Wars and have all 39 rewards ready once you have 800 tickets and just hold those. And so I have a semi goal of next year doing that, and it would be about 108 log slots all in one go. Jesus Christ, that's gonna yeah. be a nice pause. That is a lot. Please yeah. make sure I'm on- online when you do it. <laughs> Please. Oh yeah, yeah, me, yeah, yeah I mean, me too, man. <laughs> and I, I, I even left mini some stuff of off because it's it, like a little bit more random luck, like Temporos or Guardian of the Rift Pet and LMS because yeah. I'm just bad and I don't want that to like be the thing that burns me out from trying to save all of these. Yeah. That's gonna be so funny, dude. Seeing the CC just like spam like crazy. Oh, you guys yeah. actually yeah. Met, were you there? Were you guys there last night? Were you pl- were you online? Uh, oh, I wasn't. Oh, what what time? Happened? Oh, okay, you guys oh, are gonna see in my next uh, outro for the next video. I'm not gonna spoil it. <laughs> oh, this is the one you just finished. You're talking about uh, the one that's gonna be released next Saturday. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I want to. I want to say that's yeah. that's like my goal. I'm currently it's holding on to caskets that. to the end of the year. Yeah. It's actually really funny you mentioned that because I have like a similar, like that's how I decide that I would do Castle Wars and Trouble Brewing as well. So I'm like, that's exactly how done. I decided to do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was like, I'm never going to do these cringe logs there. It's just garbage. Yep. And I'm, I'm like Castle almost Wars. done with them and I was going to do the same thing. It just dropped. I, I'm not doing some of the the rest of the shops like you said. So mine's gonna be like 68 slots, but I plan on doing mm. those all at once. Yeah. Oh man, we How we gotta like. How close are you, Fulgore, from Castle Wars? And I know Nate said you're close to finishing Castle Wars and Trouble Brewing. Yeah, I'm uh like 720 Castle Wars tickets, and I'm like 26,000 pieces of eight. Oh, we do. So getting getting on up there. Oh yeah, you're close. Now, now that you said your goal, it's what's interesting is I wonder, like, is there like a known number that someone actually, like the most unique items that someone has got in a day? Like, do you know anything like that? Oh, it would be hard to say. Account, though, to do that, like, efficiently. Yeah, but yeah. like, has anyone done that? I wonder now that you know, I said, like, might, maybe you will be the one to like, to get 108 new slots in a day, 92. I will definitely yeah. have to update like the the collection log website day of so that way it yep. all shows up all on the same day you, you yeah. know what we should do we we should meet tweet what, what is it mod anna the analytics person and ask... oh yeah sh- it just changed yeah oh well, that's a good idea d <laughs> yeah like but I don't, i'm not sure they're cool. able to i know like collection log is difficult for them engine wise so maybe not but uh yeah okay. yeah so i'll turn. go Okay, um, I kind of stole the idea, like the way that I'm doing collection log nowadays, I kind of stole from Mr. Lone Gym Rat right here because he mentioned a lovely way in one of his videos that I have an easy tier goal, a medium tier goal, and a hard tier goal. I mean, and since I am only in my nine, 900s, I, I, st- I still actually have like a really, really like, basically a really similar uh, goal as 9.2 explained because I, I only have three my notes. I have, uh, well, I have zero out of 32 LMS. I have like half of the Castle Wars log to do, even though I have the tickets, I guess, spoiler two. <laughs> and um, and like a bunch of other shit that like could, I could easily push like through 1050 in like a couple of weeks. But, like, I just don't want to rush the easier slots, you know, just so the YouTube content isn't as stale once I do. And so, basically, now I'm working on the uh, banking Castle Wars tickets. I'm doing AFK in Heron Pet, which I am already at 25 million fishing without one. I am also, well, yeah, I started doing Zolcano. Uh, since I have both, uh, I am 
working on all God Wars bosses, but I'm stuck at Sarah because I can't get the hilt. <laughs> and oh, the hilt. I am so sad. Yeah. And I am working on Chambers of Zeric as my hard tier collection log at the moment. Are you so, staying yeah, up late tonight, by the way, Salty? We can pot a CM if you want after the podcast. I probably you. not because it's literally 10 minutes to midnight, but oh, any shit. other day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that's basically my goals for now. And like, once I complete Ziliana, I'm gonna switch to Bandos, from Bandos to Zami, and so on and whatnot. And and I actually have also a Hydro task, which I am about to finish. And after I do, I'm gonna with withhold uh, doing Conor Slayer, because I believe that they are gonna release so you get a guaranteed Brimstone key chance with every superior. So I want to do Wildy Slayer now, like I'm going to start doing that soon too, without the Wildy Weapon dose, which is unfortunate. Do you really think they're going to release that uh, one day? I, I, because, you know, when the, like a week ago or so, like there was this like quality of life question on Twitter that they wanted suggestions on Twitter. And basically like so many people ask like for superior creatures to drop a guaranteed brimstone key if you have a corner task like it does in the wildy for lion's keys like basili just commented on it to casey commented even though he's done like i i feel like they are gonna listen to that if not it's fine you know i'll just do wildy slayer and continue doing corner but i have a feeling that they will do that so yeah, that plays a role on my current plans Fuck, <laughs> i didn't know that <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's just speculation, but I honestly believe that they will. Or I like could if see they it being Zog a really Tass good quality from... of life. Zogtas from Konar? Yeah. Oh, dude, I'll be so torqued. Zogtas? Awesome. Yeah, you you kill Zog and you get like 10 keys, like, right? Well, maybe There's not 10, but like at least one or two. Or just being able to get the pass, you know? One or two, one key. Oh, just every every NPC in there dropping keys, you know, picking Bro, up three so from cool. a nibbler. Oh my <laughs> lord! Like you know, crazy. Imagine, imagine and a you get another like key. That and... You're yeah. doing Zuck. You I... killed the set of rangers as a key. You're like, fuck that. I'm collecting this key mid Zuck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that would that would be wild, wouldn't it? No, that would actually be awesome. Telegram. But yeah, I guess so... I'll go now. Uh, so my videos are like two months delayed, so uh, this might be like a little different than what you're seeing in the videos. But currently, my my AFK goal, like uh, Salty mentioned, is false line wyverns that I only do when I need to really AFK. And pro tip, by the way, for you guys, make sure if you have to AFK, you do something you AFK, and if you don't have to AFK, don't AFK, because those hours yeah. are kind of precious. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. huge. I missed yep. Joe Brewing in Castle Wars. It was so easy to do during work, like no stress. Yep, that's exactly what I'm doing, man. Uh, it's yeah, awesome. that, that's what I'm doing too. <laughs> and um, so, yeah, that's my AFK grind. In terms of medium activity grind, currently I decided to do uh, Conor Slayer and do like this, the bosses along the way, but that might change. I'm kind of undecided on what to do medium term. And then, um, hard or intensive grind wise, it's just Toa's. I've been like degening four, ten, eight man Toas, and I posted a video on that too. It's actually really chill. The raids are fast, so it's fast KCs, and the purple rates are insane. There's like a one in two chance to see a purple every raid, which is insane. And I'm, I'm doing splits too, so I make money on the main as well. And I think the money I'm just gonna save it for um, if there's ever something I can boost on an iron for in the future, I'm gonna just chuck my GP on it. Like yep. uh, boosting purples from chambers if I don't have the pet by 2k CM or uh, I'm not even sure what else, honestly, but whatever. I'm just going to keep the GP and I should make a lot from 2k to and CMs. And one reason why I'm broke too is because uh, when I did my 2k tops, all the GP I made, I just yeeted it on the CC events. So like I wasn't really profiting much money. <laughs> I would just, yeah, but uh, those are the current goals. <sighs> Yeah, if I if I mind, just like not into the relation of the topic, but like since we are all Iron Man, and as you mentioned, Lone, that you like chug all the your GP from your Iron Man to sponsor the clan events. Do you guys drop trade your dupes, or do you just like hold to any everything you get? I drop trade all my dupes. I don't care. 
I do now since I started Tob recently, like in the last few months. Uh, just to have splits available. It, it's really like if you plan on grinding chambers seriously, you want to have GP because that way you can do weedy raid splits. And yeah, like weedy raid splits are so much better than weedy raids FFA. Weedy raids FFA is it's either shitters that don't trust anyone or irons that are really under geared. So you really yeah. want to be able to have GP to afford splits. Unless you go with the CC, then then it, you don't need GP. Or you solo all of chambers. Yeah, that too. But for CM yeah. especially, like if you have GP, oh, you can yeah, afford it's so much split, faster. It's so nice. Or if you solo two thousand challenge modes, round tree yeah. style. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shout out brown it's, tree. That guy's yeah, a starting legend. this grind has made me definitely consider getting an alt. Because up until like currently, this is my only account. I don't even have one to drop trade things over to. But there's so many things that it's like super helpful for us. So I've been really considering it lately. Well, you can always borrow an alt too. Like I know you have a lot of in real life friends that play it. You can just borrow another yeah. account. So it's not that big a deal. Like, yeah. And you can I... always like hold GP on their accounts if you trust them and so on. But I kind of wish I I I. Uh, what is the word? I volunteered to sponsor clan events too because I well my, basically a month ago now I checked and my main was hacked. Oh really? And it was yeah I didn't even know because well I wasn't playing it since GP has no value for me but I had loads of GP on it and it all got stolen so now I'm like kind of afraid you know because I if I like for example I'm using my main now to do castle wars because of the double method. And they still need to finish Soul Wars, which I just remembered. I, I only need like 1k more zeal since I got the pet now. But I kind of am afraid to drop trade my uh, dupes, even though I would love to, like as you said, for the splits. Or, you know, maybe just to sponsor the clan too, because as I said, I don't really value the GP anymore. But yeah, that's why I asked. Uh, if your main got hacked, it's probably not worth putting GP on your main. You can make another alt to hold GP and use your main for boosting. Yeah, it, it kind of hurts to talk about the, my main like that. It's it's the 200 mil all account. Oh, really? Oh, you kind of, yeah. <laughs> you kind of don't want to throw away like account like that. But, you know, I still am so confused how it got hacked. Dude, that's another point for fucking account security, dude. Jagex, wake up. Yeah. Okay, that, I do all. think a lot of it's just basically socially engineered recovering. And I mean, on Jagex is part of them saying, hey, can I have this account? And they're like, is it yours? Yes. And you say, yeah. And they're like, okay, sure. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They, have like, they have reverse account security. It's it's there when you don't need it. Yeah. Yeah, it sucks to hear Salty. How much GP did you lose? It combined, it was like I had 1.3 bill old school and I had almost 5 bill on R3. Jeez. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, cause that, that was that, that would have been perfect for CM splits and all that. You could fund if you got yeah. a Tebo. But you make a lot of my GP, dude. From like two K top, Cape literally makes you like five bill or something. Assuming you don't. Yeah, I know. An and, and 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 uh, at now I'm just I think like I'm if I need like the only thing that I need GP as of now I'm just I'm either gonna ask someone trusted from clan or just one of the good friends that I trust I'm just gonna give him some items to sell and just buy me bonds like and I'm just gonna yeah. you know that's what I did last year too but I can do it for you too if you need to you can just ask yeah like that that's that way you know people. at least I. Yeah, that way at least they know that all of my items are, you know, like all the dupes are safe on this siren that I actually, you know, log in every day. So I don't forget to check on it. Yeah, because that could be it too. They logged in, deal yeah. with a bank pin, they reset the pin. Seven days later, yeah. they got in. Yeah, that's what that's what happened to me. Like, but yeah, anyways. Yeah, it sucks, but it is what it is. Jagex security. And, um,. I was going to say something, but I forgot. Fuck, I forgot. Okay, well, I guess we move on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so the next question here is... Oh, shit, wait, I'm going to die if I don't click. Bro, I clicked. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of tilted. That was bullshit. I have no food, by the way. 
<laughs> I'll, I'll drop you a brew. Humble lad, dude. <laughs> we pray redemption oh, yeah. for these. But the next question go. is... Pre-collection lock popularity, did you go for collection complete collection mechanism goals? Wait, what? I think that's your question. I'm confused. Pre-collection lock popularity, did you go for collectionism? So before you were doing collection log, were you like a? Did you have the mindset for completionist? Oh, that or like before more people were into it, before it started becoming something more popular and like widespread. Uh, like I were see. you already? Did you already have that mindset, or were yeah, you already? Did you do collection log before it was cool? Yeah, that's the, yeah, that's, the, that's the right yeah. way to ask are the you, question. Are you a collection log hipster? Dude, I, I can actually honestly say that yes to that question. I'm so cool. Yeah. <laughs> Same, because bro. I, yeah, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna take this one first if you guys don't mind. Go for it. Like yeah. I I feel like this one can translate with the, you know, while, while talking about R S three again, because you know if you are a person person who has played R S three, you had. You have been used to get, having a completionist cape. And, you know, with the completionist cape, with every new update they would release, you basically would get a new couple of new requirements that, you, you know, it would take a couple of times to do or you need, would need to kill a new boss a certain amount of times and whatnot. So for me personally, when I, like, changed from RS3 to old school, I kind of had the same mindset, even though it wouldn't really benefit, like, it in a way where, you know, like... Oh, I need to get Dex now so I can go do Ziliana. I can go do Ziliana so I can get ACB so I can do whatever other shit, right? So I had like that point of view. And also, I started doing collection log more than two years ago now. The only people when I started doing it, well, at least that I was aware of, well, at least on YouTube, was Guides for Us All and mm -hmm. Tedious. I didn't see any, uh, uh, not a single other YouTuber doing it. Like, and mm -hmm. in the game, no one was really, you know, no one cared about the collection log. I feel like people started caring about it once the Runelight had the plugin, you know, that would say in the chat, like, you just got a new collection log. Yeah. I think it was and that one that changed the collection log mindset. Everyone was following yeah, and it. Yeah, and Booty, yeah. when he started doing it, everyone just new collection log videos just started appearing massively on YouTube, yeah. I think. I have to pee. I'm going to be here in like 30 seconds. <laughs> I drank a beer. <laughs> Mistakes were made. Oh, we'll, we'll carry you while you're gone. No worries. Yeah, so I so I think that's that. Oh. But like, yeah. in general, there is like just so many people doing it now. It's kind of crazy. Yeah, I'm sure yeah. with uh, with Fulgor and I, we both are in the era of new enough accounts that like yeah, everything we've done has been collection log. Yeah, oh, that's so yeah, nice. For sure. Yeah, I mean, but... collection log was released in what, like 2018, I think. I don't even I remember, th honestly. I th it's think something like that. I mean, it's like two years or... before I started playing. Yeah, so it was it's... late 2018, I want to say. But uh, you know... I mean. I definitely had an interest in collection log type things prior to it being, you know, like a log yeah. and a thing people had in, you know, like high regard. And part of it stems back to like playing the game when I was a kid and wanting fashionscape items. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. I, I used to be a big, you know, like big bank stander type of skiller. And, you know, I had to have like my trouble brewing outfit. And so I was like, oh man, like, I wonder how I could do that like nowadays. And unfortunately yeah. it's miserable to do other than, you know, it being really nice in AFK. But yeah. things like that got me into doing it before a lot of the mainstream draw. Yeah. I think, that, a lot I of think it, like, iron accounts too. also. You know like, what? Even you know in... what I wish. Yeah, you know what I wish we could change if, if, if you asked. I would like one change about collection log. Only one. That before the official collection log, you know, like pop up things in game, like were a thing. On when you were, you know, had the collection log plugin on Runelight, you would only like for us, for example, green log a section if you completed it after you clicked on it. You know, when you basically. It would show you the new item you know collected oh, and I, then you, it then it would that. green in front of you like i just wish yeah. we could have that because yeah, that maybe. that would used to give me so much joy when i would see the line go green you, you know the the time you click it for the last time 
and then it goes green. I wish we oh, had yeah, that. Oh, yeah, it used to be like that. Shit. Yeah, I wish we could have that. I would love it so much. Such a weird yeah, feeling to, awesome. to get, and you just... Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's it's as I said, dude. Number go up. It's all you need. <laughs> but like, uh, you were talking about it before I left. But it's kind of crazy how many new collection lock series we have that are just yeah. popping out nonstop. And I mean, hopefully, it doesn't oversaturate the uh, the market. Yeah, I can't believe they all copied yeah. Lone Jim Rat. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> what the hell, oh, man? You know. <laughs> And you know what? When you said, you know, Bopi Popola, we can't forget another really, really important person for Collection Log. You know who it is? Who Yourself? Is no, no, no. <laughs> I thought this <laughs> was you. a good shout out. I was like, all right, I, I see you. I mean, I'm tedious. Like, he created oh, 100%. The yeah, he created the goddamn spreadsheet that so many new YouTubers use as a plat, you know, as a basically a. I don't know the word in English. A tablet, you know, for uh, like as an example to start their channel yeah. for yeah, template. Yeah, sorry, as a template to start their series. Like everyone, every new one seems to be doing it most of the time. Like and yeah, yeah. I I think even Boti, uh, when when Tedious was doing some kind of a stream, like celebrating streaming for some time or the series going on for some time, he even like donated him a thousand dollars or something like you know for the sheet yeah he definitely pioneered like the early collection log times yeah it was, it was really dead at first i remember when it came out people were complaining that uh, it wasn't retroactive and uh, if you did collection logs all beforehand you would lose out on it yeah uh, i know a lot of irons were saying we should be able to use items on the collection log to gain it i kind of disagreed and on my side, I had a lot of items before the collection all came out. I have to grind them again. <laughs> but yeah, dragon war hammers. Yeah. Thankfully, not the hammer because that would have been really God, that, painful. <laughs> that one would suck. I I had to grind two man, <laughs> and and I and and I went dry for both of them. Spoiler <laughs> alert. Nice. First one, fir first one took me twelve point three k. You know how long second one took me? Ten k, twenty k, twenty. 23k. Oh my gosh, so you have like 37,000 shamans. <laughs> yep. Oh, that's. So, I didn't know I did, that. This account, sometimes they do feel that this account is cursed. Oh, that's rough. It's just storing up that RNG for later. I, I was going to ask um, on, on the subject of like personal, you know, like reasons for getting into logging and you know, if you did prior. I, I know Fulgor was about to say something on the mindset of it. Oh, yeah. I think some of it, like the type of people that are drawn to that stuff, I feel like are usually drawn to it in like other games too. I know like when I was younger, I would oh. always like, it, it wasn't just like, you know, beat the game. It's like you had to go get all the achievements, 100% type thing. Oh, 100%. I think 100%. it's just like a similar mindset. I hadn't even thought about that, but no, that's how I've that. like always been. <laughs> Dude, I yeah, you, I, I feel like it's just like, the type of people. I thought you were gonna say people that go for collection loggers are just autistic or something like that. Dude. I mean, there's yeah, there's, there's, there's some correlation. <laughs> Probably, dude. I I but knew no, I... I knew I was a collection logger deep down when I was grinding for Max, and I was telling myself, "Oh, I'm gonna do like green log mahogany homes along the way, just because it saves GP and it's kind of cool." Yeah. And then I green log mahogany I... homes, and I'm like, okay, now I'm gonna finish 99 construction. Then I was going for uh, another 99. Fuck, which one was it? Why well, green logged? Motherfucker, I moved. Sorry. I forgot. <laughs> and I was like, I, as I, I was still maxing, look at skilling goals logging. that way. It's like, there's nice. a bunch of them that I have where I'm like, oh, you know, I'm gonna get 30 million all. I'm gonna have to do fishing. I was like, may as well finish off the aerial fishing log, you know? And Temperos. Yeah. It's just like a yeah, nice that's... way to see it. That's how I did my max total too, because I was like ten levels away from max for like two years. I remember. Uh, I was, yeah, <laughs> and I was like just withholding those levels because the people would get so, so <laughs> uh, you know, frustrated for me not maxing, and it was just banter. But like the max cap is so big, like you kind of have to, kind of have to yeah, get shot it. Shout out to all the 2200s in clan chat that will max in 2024, maybe. Hell yeah, yeah dude. I'm not sure if we're going to finish it here. I hope so. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we got it. Wait, someone have a, a rock? I'm out.
Shit. Oh, my mouth, are you kidding me? <laughs> no, it's gonna heal, dude. <laughs> Ah, uh, we had yeah. seven. How did we not kill it? What the hell? Okay. Yeah, I, would, I was just AFK in that last bit there. I need to bank after this one too. Um. But yeah, I guess we can move on to the next one because I kind of lost what was going. But uh, the next question is completionist versus collection log. And then as an example, we talk about the clan Totus, which I'm not fully familiar with. So maybe 927, you can go ahead. And oh, yeah. This this familiar. one, yeah. Um, they are like a very, very strict collection, or, or not collection, but completionist clan where it's everything non-repeatable, you know, one time off, like it all has to be done. Like finding all the ghosts in Hallowed Sepulchre, for example, which a lot of it I find really, really cool. But then some of it, is uh, i mean honestly it's just like kind of laughable and i don't know fully how they approach it my biggest example was when they released the extra bank slots and i was like oh nice if you want to if you want to complete everything there's minus 888 mil right there yeah Ugh. yeah <laughs> and i was like are they gonna put that on there because they should but will they did they put it on there so did, did they i don't know because their sheets private Dude, make the sheet public to me, man. Come on, Totus. That's gonna be sure. like probably like Crystal Crown and stuff too. Oh All yeah, of them things too, like, like that. each color. <laughs> oh yeah, well I mean, they have graceful all recolors, for example, on there. I, I mean, they which... even have the Easter egg in the collection log, don't they? Oh yeah. Dude, random but... question: Should the yeah. Zach help be on the collection log? Just to make everybody sure. cringe, no. yes. I've, I've wrestled with that question <laughs> for a while. I, sure. I think that goes into the realm of like the completionist cape, where I think it should be, if we ever got one, it should be on there. But as far as collection log itself, I don't think there's a really good precedent for the combat achievements on there. Yeah, I it's mean, hard to you... like lump it in with any other content. Like LMS, you... you could like compare to a mini game, but there's nothing really like CAs. Yeah, that's like adding if the quest put... cape and the diary cape on the collection log. It's kind of random. Yeah, yeah, like you might as well add the max cape, and if you do add the Zug helm, I guess you have to add all the Slayer helms too. Then. Oh fuck! That's right. No, no, never mind. No Zug helm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how many? How many black masks? That would be like twelve. Well, it's getting the 1,000 uh, Slayer points. It's a little points. bit less. That's I looked issue. at it before. Oh, yeah, the like Slayer eight. points. Is... Yeah. I had that as a goal once upon a time, and then they made cool yeah. combat achievement helmets, and I said, ah, pff, never Fuck again. Dude. Yeah. I mean, hey, at, at least it would be a solid bingo tile. <laughs> oh, the, the Slayer helmet set from scratch? That's Can actually a imagine? good idea, dude. Holy shit. Oh, uh, Dude, your clan is gonna hate me if you do this now. Dude, the clan's already gonna hate me for the race, bro. I, I already know it. I'm gonna get to the race, bro. <laughs> Dude, I, I wish I could have participated. It looks so fun. You can't participate. No, I I work every fucking weekend. That was the like the bingo was Even the only weekend. Even if you're not that able I... to play the whole time, it's still fine, dude. Don't worry. No, I have like I have like one and a half hour before work when I do Castle Wars and drink a cup of coffee and I go to work. So you can only play one hour for the whole weekend, even ah. for a day. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Same. Shit. Dude, I, honestly, just sign up anyways and just rate that, and it'll be fine. Like, <laughs> don't, you, you won't be first pick, but like, it, it'll be okay if you say it in your disclosure form. No, I don't, I don't want to be a disappointment to, to Trexy again, man. Oh, bro, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to flame Trexy now. Fuck that. Yeah. No. Nah, dude. I I spent so many hours that bingo, and then they didn't get shit. I thought I was I felt so bad. Yeah, but that that's how it is, you know. You spoon some, and you, yeah, you, like one one bingo, you'll spoon, and you're gonna like feel bad too. So it goes both yeah. ways. Yeah. Ha hashtag sig. <laughs> yeah. I remember, uh, the last bingo I wrote down that I was only going to be able to play for like five hours, and I ended up getting more time, and I played for like fifteen. And I did most of that at DK's, and I still barely got anything. I was it, it trying sounds, to get they're, the rings. They're rough, dude, because we're more and more people. It's relatable, dude, man. So. The boards are the board is hard. The tiles are rough, and 
it's not yeah. it's not easy it's like and if you play like if you don't play more than 10 hours it's like you won't be able to contribute as much but you'll still be able to contribute but it, it's fun anyways and on discord we're yeah all fucking around yeah, for sure oh yeah the discord call for bingo was really fun just in general bingo concept is so good for old school yeah like awesome. if you're yeah it's just amazing on whoever came up with that it's just a genius and yeah. then next uh, cast we plan to do a bingo cast where we talk about the race and designing it and everything because i've actually been recording clips by the way for like how i designed the 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 events which is mm -hmm. really cool because it's something yeah, it <laughs> i was imagine like... it's it's just you opening up the collection log and being like oh i, I need that slot i need this one <laughs> <laughs> i need the dragon full home i'm gonna put it on there i need <laughs> yeah you laugh, but I do actually open the collection log to like see what it would be nice to add. And... I I mean I mean I don't think it's that a really was a good joke, reference man. point. Yeah, it has everything. So like, and I also look at like the bosses on the collection log to see what bosses we're forgetting and all that. But uh, yeah, people have been flaming me for it. They're like, if you want to know what's on the bingo, look at Lone's collection log. Just yeah. open Lone's <laughs> collection log. Yeah, yeah I think the that's the YouTube first video. thing I've seen after I joined and. <laughs> registered for the bingo because i joined right before bingo dude all i gotta say is please salty sign up for the race dude yeah sign up bro just do it play dude, two hours already but just sign up he, he's he's already pressured me into doing zolcano now he's <laughs> going further now i'm going yeah, for the kill dude it's a good enabler i'm like yeah. the the bad influence kid <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I guess speaking of Zuck Helm, so the next question uh, interest in combat achievements so just combat achievements in general so does oh, anyone sure. want to kick, off, kick it off yeah it... Uh, I want to get a Zuck helmet nice I, I want yep. to like basically try and send it next year We'll see. I still have all that completionist, you know, like collection log stacking goal, but there's so much that I have barely brushed the surface of. And I think we're over my, I'm done with elites now. And more than anything else, what I found out about all of them that I've done is they're tedious more than difficult. And I know some are genuinely difficult later on. But I yeah. do think like most of them are honestly just kind of tedious. It's not as bad as it seems. People are just intimidated by it, but it's like you just oh, ship, sure. at, ship at them one at a time. And the hardest part is yeah. getting a good team, honestly. <laughs> yeah. yeah, a lot of it is like just getting good at like three main pieces of content. Like I, I'm about to finish elites pretty much once I can motivate myself to go do solo nightmare. Ugh, that but, one's like, a rough one, dude. <laughs> Like, oh, I look man. at, like, the rest of the Masters and stuff, and it's, like, there's, like, a million Tob and Chambers ones. It's, you just gotta get good at, like, the raid content, it seems. Personally, I wouldn't have any interest for it, but I am. I checked the tasks, and I know I'm capable of doing at least up to Elites. And I am gonna do, because it's, well, it's a boost for Elite clues. But... Yeah. Other than the fact if they release something that is, you know, like ex like re like they increased the patch of new rewards or proposed rewards or whatever, mm -hmm. if there is anything that is like really, really worth doing, I might push for it, but I'm not really sure if I'm that good enough of a PME. Like I'm not capable of actually doing those tasks because I'm not giga tier PVM as most of you guys, but Dude, yeah. I'll say it right now, you can definitely do masters. Yeah, no I, 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 yeah, I have the opinion Masters that I think, is my mark. Yeah, I, I think Helm anyone if they put though. the time in can do. Yeah, masters. Zuck Helm is. I, I I'm not ashamed to say it's too hard for me. I wouldn't manage to do it. You could probably still pull it off. It's just it'll take like you. It'll take a lot longer to chip away at like the uh, the raids one. And like, so my current plan for CAs is um, I'm four away from Zacom right now. I'm missing four Infernal tasks, but I'm waiting for the uh, Toa CAs to come out because I don't want to get the Zacom and then Toa comes out and I'm brick walled or whatever. So yeah. once Toa CAs comes out, 
Well, my, my plan until then is to just keep doing Toa until, until I get the staff. Because I'm scared that the staff is going to be a wreck for Toa CAs. Hopefully not, yeah. but it probably will be. And once yeah, I finish Toa CAs, heroes. I'm going to go back to Zuck and finish the Zuck Helm. Or back to Inferno, I mean. Yeah, and then I can plan. do Slayer in peace, like a Chad. That's my current plan. It's a good plan. But Holding uh, off on the uh, the 500 until it's a combat achievement, you know? I, I, uh, some people are saying that they don't think the 500 solo is going to be on the CAs. But I, I can see it, it being be. like a GM task, yeah. I think it will I be a like, GM task. I, mean, I think it would be a good Grandmaster. Yeah, would you be surprised if it was there though? Nah, I'm expecting it there, but I'm yeah. I, I'm just not scared of it. I know it's possible without a staff. I just feel like I'm I'm gonna be severely punished for not having it a staff. Yeah, one one of my friends recently did it without a staff, and it kind of gave me inspiration. But I don't even have a ring yet, which I do feel is necessary. <laughs> yeah, that's that's pretty yeah, cool. that's huge for like the no no supply run yeah uh, I, like I, I wanted to try it after i saw saw him get it and i was like ah, i definitely need a ring first it's just not possible for me without it but yeah it's a it's a scary one i'm at 13 purples right now and i'm not even on drop rate for staff yet i've been doing yeah, it it's like pretty hard what is it one in 24 yeah one in 24 so it's yeah, like it's, on um... 34 on average it's uh, 34 purples for completion and 24 purples for... Uh, no, 22 purples for full Missouri. Yeah. Kind of on, on that note, like, the, does anybody... Have they entertained the plan of just, like, sending a million 150s? That's oh, what yeah. Actually, we, what I would well. like to do. We, we talked about it. Uh, I, I saw it, like, really early on with TOA, where the meta was basically developed as, you know, do 300 plus... To, to like milk rewards as quickly as yeah. you can and then once you have staff you can just go down to 150s if you plan on 200s yeah. fun fact if or, you or, do sorry, 150s 2K capes. all the way to 2k cape you get 40 purples which is over rate for green log ah oh, just imagine being dry on that one though that'd be but misery yeah, if you go dry then rip <laughs> but right now i'm yeah, saying yeah, four tens I'm doing 8-man 410s. Uh, whenever I get 7 out of 7, I'll stop doing 410s and I'll just either do 300s in teams or like 150 solos for KC. Yeah. I feel like 150 solos are going to be super fun too. It's actually kind of nice. You get fast pace and the rate is fast and you can farm KC. Yeah, there's like zero chance of failure. Yeah, it's no stress. You can even bring bombs. Yeah. Oh yeah, the supply will be like nothing. So that should be cool. But uh, I'm surprised. I didn't enjoy Toe at first when it came out, but now I'm actually enjoying it, so... Pretty cool. Yep. Alright. Uh, the next question here is, interest in a completionist cape? So maybe we can get Salt Eagle first, because he played RS3, so he knows what an actual completionist <laughs> cape is. Yeah. We've never seen it. I mean, as an item, I would... I, would, I know it's a lot it's very controversial but it it seems to be getting as popular as ever with all those max keep variants right but as an item i would love it for it to be in the game but i'm just curious what you actually would need for it because maybe you guys saw that like a couple of days ago someone on twitter for those that have twitter someone came up with an official completionist cape requirement list what would you need to do I for did see that. a yo did you see i mean mm -hmm. that list looked pretty easy yeah but yeah it, it looked like incredibly easy for the regular cape but the true like trimmed cape looked well looked like a trim cape so yeah i saw a lot as, of a lot of arguing yeah. about whether or not gm should be on there <laughs> oh yeah i, I like think G it should be yeah yeah percent yeah, yeah, like like trim was on cape? Trim yeah, for cape, sure. yeah. I actually I think I still think that we will get it eventually. They are gonna pull it and there is enough people if they if they allow only maxed people to vote as they did with Pures or with like the other questions, you know, where it, you are not allowed to poll if you don't fit the section. 
I think that it will pass too now that they made it 70% and we are gonna get it. Bro, if yeah. they only make max players vote, the Reddit is gonna be so pissed. <laughs> then there'll but be like are... 400 votes. <laughs> but <laughs> but aren't, aren't they always though? That's true. It's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah it doesn't matter what, what Jagex does. Yeah. I mean, Reddit, sh in my opinion, should just never be considered for any game change at all. Yeah. yeah. No, it's it's got good memes. That's it's about it. Yeah. That's how I see as long it. as as long as they pull it and if we get it in the game, I for sure am gonna go for it because I love that item. It's just too good not to have it. Yeah, I, I feel like anybody that calls themselves a collection logger is just gonna go for yeah. the cape if it were ever to come out. Yeah, if you respect yourself, you are gonna get it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm undecided not, on the comp. Completion escape. If it comes out, I'll definitely go for it. But if it doesn't come out, whatever. Yeah, I, collection log is enough already, so I'm not too worried. Yeah, it's just Jagex has to make up their minds as to whether or not they want yeah their content to be completable or not. Because it's clear that they've been mixed feelings about it over the years. Yeah, and I do think like with the you know, like the Jar of Darkness arc and back to that and like the baguette, they are trying to make it more approachable at least for a lot of those that were pointed out to just be like unfeasible. Yeah. Yeah. I mean didn't even I think even Divine didn't pass at like seventy percent, right? When they pulled Corp, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, Divine Shield. Yeah, that failed. that was one of the ones. Yeah, like, I feel like with that 70% mark, they are trying to, they are working on something ahead. But they also changed their mindset on how they approach pulls. Before, they would develop the content and then pull it, which yeah, was a huge that... waste of time. Yeah. Yeah. Awarding, warding. <laughs> yeah, so. yeah saving, I, saving. I actually, yeah, I was predicting that as soon as I saw them change the polls, my first thought was that they're going to try and push a new skill forward. So we'll, yeah. we'll have to see if that happens. I don't know if I'll be I right mean, or not, but... I mean, they have to do something aside from bossing because they, re like, compared... The we have a lot of new gear now and, like, best in slot gear too. What are, what are they going to propose next? Because, like, power creep, like, it's kind of ridiculous, don't you think? Yeah, we have crazy yeah. gear right now. Missouri yeah, yeah. like what what Florida. else yeah what else can you give like honestly yeah, they're trying to like add a bunch of super niche thing like with this new proposed uh master quest boss like that blood letter bow thing that went out in the the blog post they're trying to just make oh, a lot yeah. of niche stuff i feel like now yeah, yeah they, well, they have that to, because otherwise it's power creep is going to be exponential right it's yeah not niche. yeah but it, it like niche stuff is fine too Makes it yeah. adds diversity, and the bow is gonna be really cool for irons because you don't have to like, catch chins as much. Yeah, for, like the yeah, speeds. Yeah. So you're still gonna probably catch chins though for uh, armor, but fun. besides that, fun mainly. Nah, that's only Ed. only crowns catches chins for fun. Man, I like <laughs> black chins. <laughs> That was that's my sole motivation for pet. I really do not want to hunt chins. Same, dude. Way. It's gonna be my last skilling pet grind. And yeah. seeing I enjoyed it, and I got the pet. It's, it's just a crime. Oh, also, I was lucky enough it. to get most of my skilling pets pre-99. Oh, just that is really lucky. lucky. Wait, you've got all of them? No, uh, I'm missing Rocky and the Squirrel and the Chin. Damn. Oh, Every other skilling pet I got pre-99. I got Rocky's four herons. Free, like, because yeah, you have to thieve elves. <laughs> Oh, I I actually got I didn't have uh, Rocky until eighteen mil thieving right, and then I was pickpocketing for some new bloodshots right, and I've got three Rockies in four hundred in four hundred k. Yeah, that's I, yeah, that's how I, I felt like with the like, herons. Yeah, that was ridiculous, dude. I've got my first one, and then like thirty seven k XP. I was. Would have been followed, and then like an hour later, I've got another one. It was crazy. That's crazy. Yeah. All right. I guess we move on to the next question. What do you think should be on or off the collection log? I mean, one thing mm. for sure. I'm not sure why the hell are there not the you know the rewards for you get for completing a certain amount of clues. Why those things are not on the collection log? I do not understand. 
Oh, that's true. Oh that's yeah, those point. those should be on the should be Yeah, on actually, there. I hadn't thought about it. Yeah, yeah. yeah I didn't even realize they weren't. That'd be cool. Yeah. Or yeah, even just like the first item for me. The Do first, it. the <laughs> first item in their slot, you know. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 just not under it's it's not like a big deal, but I just don't understand the logic behind that. I, yeah, I've there's, got there's two a lot of weird inconsistent. Like we already talked about the LMS capes. That's another just weird. Yeah, it's I, weird I've got two that system. like are for two different reasons that should just be like removed completely, uh, and uh, they're related in a way. One would be the fossil island notes, because <laughs> it's just a free tan. Yeah. Literally nobody has ever read those other than somebody for the wiki who probably immediately regretted spending the time reading them. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and the other one, similarly related, is the notes from Mithril Dragons and however yeah, else you get them, all the barbarian training. Whatever, yeah. They're so, A, difficult in comparison for what they are. They're, again, absolutely worthless. It's lore. Lore should just be lores. Oh, no. oh okay. <laughs> oh, oh, well, that was cool. Uh, I guess I'm green log here. See you. Dude, you were right, Lone. We actually did achieve something this guy. <laughs> we did something. But uh, oh, yeah, so on the bad, subject right? of those those notes, they just uh, yeah <laughs> they they do nothing. <laughs> They're a tedious grind. They are zero time for Mithril Dragons, so at least that's there. But yeah. I don't understand why either of those are on the log. I mean, I don't mind having extra things on the log. I don't think they should remove anything from the log. But I do agree that those are too easy for what they... Uh, especially the Fossil Lion Rider notes. That's a joke. Like, but Oh, uh, yeah, that's just a free 10. My favorite, though, is always typing out paragraph of text when people do it, because that's what one of the notes is, like, uniquely named as. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I've seen you do it I timed it. I timed it perfectly. I was very happy. Uh, but um, I, I think it's funny, too, seeing, like, uh, people start collection logging, and then they firstly do the That's uh, the first the one. Yeah. Yep. It's yep. like the gateway <laughs> drug, the collection log. Yeah. Which like, is really wow, cool. that's a lot of dopamine in, like, 10 seconds. But they should add more dumb shit like that on the log. That's very easy. Like it. it, yeah, it just I'm trying to think it. of what else would fall into that category as like something you could get. That you know, it's like a one-off. It really doesn't do anything. Like I, I guess most would be like quest-related. Oh yeah, that I would mean, be maybe like random back, event though. stuff. But like at least that's fashion scape, I guess. Yeah. Those those are like my two biggest grievances. Everything else, even if they're extremely long to get or kind of silly, like at least they're a unique item and they you know they do something. They make sense generally, but those two have always stood out to me as just bizarre. Ah, I ran to the wrong side. Yeah, there's a lot of weird stuff on like the miscellaneous tab as well. It's like why is that? Like the like the crab claw. <laughs> and the shell, it's like, why? Of all things, yeah, you, that, like, you know what? You know what's funny about struggle. that item specifically? That if you do the recipe for disaster, you're most likely gonna get those items before you complete the part of the quest. Yeah, I have to go back because I didn't because... spoon it. Wait, you don't? I, I had I had to go back for one of the pieces too. I yeah. got it during the quest, but uh, yeah. oh, I had to as well because I did the quest before the collection log was out. But like, if you do it nowadays, most likely you're gonna most likely finish. Oh, maybe I did the quest before. That's true. I didn't think of it that way. Oh. I don't know. It's fun to see the free slots that inflates the number a little bit, makes like a thousand yeah. easier achievable and makes the total higher. But it's not. Like a big hour sink. So yeah. there's no issues with that. It'd be weird to see what Jagex considers for putting on there or leaving off there or not. I think it's like so a, a JMod thing. Like the JMod that designed, like I remember I was uh, in a Sebei cast, they were talking about how uh, like the JMods decides to drop rates of uh, the uniques and yeah. all that. And I think each JMod is just slightly different and they just throw on their own numbers. Yeah, just like you, you just have a bunch of random stuff that's on there sometimes. Like Eternal Glory is another good example. It's like okay, oh my god, yeah, that's, that's that's a super thanks bizarre for, one. Thanks for reminding me. I need to get that. Nah, yeah. it's in your dude. It's fucking oh yeah, we gotta I gotta ask Nate. He's got one of those, doesn't he? Yeah, he grinds. Yeah, he one. does. He spooned it super hard. 
Fucking it not classic, has dude. it too. Do you have it, Lone? No. And I don't want to do it because you don't get any XP, so it's kind of frustrating. That's the biggest concern. I, I dislike not getting XP for long stretches. That's part of why I didn't like Castle Force. Oh, Castle Force is AFK at least. Yeah, that's true. If you just you just chill. But uh, yeah, that one's uh, that one that one I'm sc really scared about. One day I'll grind it out, but not anytime soon. I, it's it's unrelated, but like uh, talking about XP, like back to Aros three. I remember when they when they released the trimmed completion escape, right? And you needed five K castle or games to trim the cape. And you know you yeah you couldn't get any XP in the actual game itself. So people would there, was, but there was like this one while in the game for some reason underground. Oh yeah, you know there is this like explosive or poison or something like that. Yeah. And you could take that thing and you could empty it. So so people literally took that one while and they would do humidify and empty that while and do humidify again. So they would get at least some amount of XP while AFKing those five K games. Some mage XP, dude. <laughs> Yeah, they would. Yeah, that back in the day, mage wasn't like you know that you would st after wasn't you did zero time. Mills, yeah, it was basically zero time if you, because of the castle wars cape. You know, if you didn't care for XP or whatever, because five thousand games gave, is fucking cracked, dude. That's twenty minute games, right? Same as yeah, this well, castle wars. It's the same one he has here. Yeah. Yeah, dude, that's fucking insane. We uh, you had to do two hundred sixty six games for green log. So 5,000 is 20 times. You're literally doing Castle Wars for like two years. <laughs> yeah, wow, but they changed correct. later on that that you need the, the decorative gold set instead of 5k games. Who and decided 5,000 cut... games? Like, what the fuck? Yeah, it's, the, it's like Jar of yeah, Darkness the, level. The cave, yeah, the, the trimmed cave based... Well, both of the completion escapes on our server are basically based on Omostardo, do you guys know who that is? No. No. There, there was this player, well, he actually, his na in game name was Castle Wars. So basically, when they were proposing completion escapes, he, he wrote down like a suggestion in high level forums with all the requirements that he should have. And he was, well, yeah, he was completionist type of a player before it was cool. So he basically just typed out all the things that he had done himself as a completionist. And they just put all of those requirements on the cape. So when they released oh the God. capes, he was he was the only person in the game that was able to claim the trimmed completion escape on release day. <laughs> That's insane. That'd be like consulting yeah. Jebrim. Like, ah, yeah, what do you think you need yeah. for a cape? Ah, you know, t uh, one bill agility XP. Yeah, and, and, <laughs> and, and, and because of that, you know, he was the only person with that cape and no one was even close because, well, no one in the in the healthy mind would do 5k castle or games on his you know on his own he was basically streaming and people would just donate to him loads amount of money because he said himself quote unquote goal of having a rare set so he didn't yeah. even need to do any pvm people basically just donated him millions of gold when it was still you know worth something and he bought a rare set that way Anyways, RS3, I just remember random. SMH. Yeah, I I just remember yeah. randomly some RS three people, you know, or stories about it, and it just comes back to me. Oh no, is it's fun? I mean, most people oh, yeah. never heard about that. I, so. I like I like the little bit of lore of it. Like, uh, I missed out a lot of years of RuneScape. Like, I quit before Evolution of Combat, and so all the like RS three, it's just a mystery to me. Yeah. yeah. That's why I liked watching those streams on Twitch when, you know, they would get the Gower brothers on the couch and oh, they would shit. talk about the start of RuneScape and Mod Ash would be there and they would just laugh out loud on the couch and ignore any other Jmod <laughs> because <laughs> they, once, they were basically, you know, the starter pack or whatever. Oh, yeah. They had a... Um... They had uh, like an interview or like a podcast type thing a while back about like the history of RuneScape. That was super interesting to to listen to because it had the uh, it had the Gowers on there. Yeah, yeah. I should probably watch that. <laughs> yeah, sh shout out RuneScape. You know, it's, uh, brought us all together.
Yeah, we like to hate it, yes. but we also love to hate it, you know? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Anyways, next question, I guess. Next question. Balancing the collection log. So, for example, the Jar of Darkness change recently. Is there anything else we need balancing? We already touched on clues, so I guess we can maybe skip clues. Oh, I, I 100% yeah, have one. Go for it. So, and, and this, I uh, think it was, Suji brought this up earlier as well, about um, jars. Specifically, if they were untradeable, that would be good. But also, if they were a more consistent rate, I think having any jar more rare than the pet is absurd. Yeah, like Jar of Stone. Yeah, Jar of Stone, Jar of Darkness, oh. obviously, is its own like niche case. But it like nobody nobody cares if you get the jar. Yeah. Like it's it's you know yeah. cool. It's a plus it, one it's collection. It's like the bad pet rule. It's a, it, exactly. Yeah. It's like a meme. Yeah. Um, but if they were more consistent in, you know, jars always being under the drop rate of pets, it makes sense. But it's it's another one of those developer instances where, you know, they just say, okay, you're developing this, pick whatever number seems reasonable, and they're like, okay, sure. And <laughs> you end up with some weird ones. Yeah, although the jar of stone is unbalanced, I still think it's fair. Because 5,000 grotesque gardens is a lot more realistic. Because you can actually find Oh, for it. sure. Yeah. yeah. Jar of Darkness was just like a fucking other level, dude. Yeah, yeah even it's when just a giant it was kind of high, which is. I mean, in, I mean, it's basically the same aspect as a third age from Elite Clues. They just fucked up and they didn't manage to fix it years after. Yeah, like, they eventually like did, this, which is nice. Yeah, like, yeah, like this Jar of Darkness, for to be specific, is honestly feels like another fuck up. But yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, you can yeah, like but... see how they made the mistake too. It's like they yeah, added a zero. A they were like, ah, dang it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They, they probably did honestly for Jar Darkness. It was supposed to be two fifty or something. Well, they probably yeah. just like didn't realize they like it slipped their mind that Skatizo was so hard to get to anyway. They're like, ah, oh, yeah, most jars are like one in two k, one in three k. We'll just put it's it like the, a one minute person... Skatizo kills. You know, one in twenty five hundred. Yeah. It's reasonable. Or the it is funny with, the with the especially the pet being so common. It's kind of <laughs> just amusing. Yeah. Well, even the pet yeah. is not as common as it seems. Getting the, the the totems are rough. Yeah. And if you go dry, it's really rough. Yeah. Getting getting back on the question, I cannot before I forget. I only have one thing on mind that I would think that needs adjusting, but I guess this caters around Iron Man. And I would say the crystal chest. Oh, fuck. Oh, uh, yeah. Don't get me yeah. started, bro. The raid on yeah, that, that is one's... so bizarre. One in yeah, five like, points I... for unique. It's insane. Yeah, like, like even, even as an example, like, even if they kept, they wouldn't, even if they don't change the unique, just so, you know, they don't need to cater around Iron Man or whatever, so people don't get mad. Like, if there was even a significant, like, even a somewhat solid method of actually obtaining those keys, because we don't actually have one. Well, this deranged archaeologist for three keys an hour. Yeah, but is is that <laughs> enough? Though? I'm just trolling, but yeah. <laughs> I was like, about to say, oh, is, is I, that is that second, like the I key get three meta? It is actually the meta for keys. That's crazy. Christ, yeah, it's <laughs> disgusting. And here I, I think was thinking my... that boss didn't have any purpose. I think it's four keys an hour, actually. Not okay. I was going to so, say, uh, I think I think in the majority of my account lifetime, I have about 350 keys. Yeah, I got yeah, seven keys. Like, same. But I did Wildy Slayer to completion with a well ring of wealth on all the entire time. It's to the so, point where I have uh, I have like key halves highlighted now. If I see those and it's like that or an alkable, I'm like, oh, I'm taking the key half. I'm yeah. wondering yeah, if same, it's worth dude. capping a ring of wealth for Slayer and sacrificing the, the either the spec ring or the premium ring just for extra keys. <laughs> like, I mean, do you think it would be worth it to use ring of wealth while uh, barraging jellies too? Maybe then. Probably for that's because I was bringing the spec ring for the new B specs. Most crackhead uh, method yeah, I've that, ever that, heard. That's a good point, actually, because rings are kind of just not that useful with barrage slayer. Yes, yeah, well, the spec ring is insane for barrage slayer if you have it in. Yeah, team. yeah, I guess so. But you're yeah, like... but if you have, if you have to choose between like getting a bit more re reclined jellies just so you can spec DVE, 
is it not better to get like a let's say one piece per per hard clue? Let me check. The key? Uh, warped jelly. Uh, let's see how much of a boost it is. It it slices it in half. That's so that's pretty significant. So yeah, I okay, guess like. I... As... Uh, yeah, you probably is just the solved word. solved the key meta. <laughs> <laughs> and aside from it. that, like if we do not like count that it's ridiculous or whatever, what let's extend the question and ask like how would you propose to fix the crystal chest for Iron Man? Well, okay, so the issue there's two issues with the crystal chest. Firstly, is getting the shards. Secondly, is getting the keys. So you have to do both as an iron, which is fucking rough. So a solution they could have is you can get like a monster or an NPC that drops the enhanced keys directly. So you don't have to get a crystal key, you don't have to get 10 shards. You're thinking like a superiors in the in the Slayer drop a confirmed crystal key type of thing? Yeah, something along those that lines. Might be reasonable. But that I mean, nobody like really does Slayer in there anyway. Yeah, you, you can like yeah, but... put them in the table of like the Slayer dungeon stuff. Like in the, you know, there's like a Slayer cave on in Priv. In there, yeah, they have yeah, like yeah. a, if a, any superior there drops you like a key. Yeah, like like an enhanced key as well. Yeah, with the 10 shards attached to it. So you don't get the XP making it, but at least you get like a, a key. Yeah, yeah, but that's, that's, but isn't like, there's already so much stuff surrounded by Slayer. Like you need like if True. if let's for for example if brimstone keys passes for superior right if it ever happens, like we already have Conor to do for Slayer, so you need superiors for that. So you can't just do Durdel for, you know, to do dark beasts in the elf caves or whatever. So like it's just so much Slayer XP. Like is there enough? Is is two hundred million enough? The question. Well, it, like, even the keys you would get, it probably wouldn't be enough to fund the entire chest, but it would just, like, give a, a dent in the grind. Because the completion for Elva chest is 5,700 keys, by the way. Holy fuck. God. With, with the key rate you said of uh, efficiently three an hour? <laughs> Four an hour, the range archaeologist, at, at... and then you have to thieve. <laughs> Oh my That's, god, that actually yeah. sounds depressing. It it's really rough, is, yeah. Man. You need, like I said, the first person to complete the log is just going to be somebody who, like, super spoons the worst grinds. But that grind yeah. isn't even that bad, because, like, there's way worse. And also I guess for passive, Nordies, it's not it's too bad, but, but it. hours, it's a lot. Yeah, but you should be I mean, it passively. Because gets... you also I feel get like keys gets... opening the chest, so you, you get, it like, a bit of it back. Oh, yeah, yeah. But I feel like it's 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 up to that you know as I meant, as we talked about earlier it's up to the person that basically completes most of the log and he has clues and for example this chest left so he can combine the two and just you know grind slayer above or whatever and just passively you know do until new collection log gets released he does that and then he just regularly goes back to slaying superiors in elf dungeon for the keys and the clues. It's so decent, Basically, but I love it. <laughs> yeah, but like that's that's that would be the matter, wouldn't it? Yeah, because you get a mix of a lot of different things at the yeah. same time. So, I mean, jeez, are we sad for making this sound fun? I mean, it's cool yeah. stacking the keys. Like, uh, you stack the yeah. keys and you open them all at once. It's kind of nice. Yeah, I might might add that to my big like collection log day. Just however Opening many the keys I have. Are so much fun, dude. <laughs> like, yeah. I have like 300 chests. I don't have anything yet, but like I can't expect it yet. I'm not going to spoil anything, so I'm just not going to say anything. Oh, <laughs> no. If that. Oh. Well, you remember Skilling Cup? I, I, <laughs> oh, I feel, like, huh? I feel like you already said something, man. Yeah. Was... Oh, yeah. I didn't say how many keys I Redacted. Already. Redacted. We are be editing video. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Edit it out in post. Easy. <laughs> post. We don't have that. <laughs> okay, so let's move on to the that. next topic here, which is um, least and most favorite collection log grinds that you've done. So this one is a really oh. deep topic, so we can dive 
in extra length if you guys want. So who would like to kick it kick it off? I'm gonna open mm. up collection log on the side so I can check some. Yeah, of I, I have to I have to think about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, perfect. I feel like our answers are gonna be a lot different than loans just because we've done so much less by comparison. Yeah. yeah. Like there's so many yeah. logs that like I'm dreading, but I haven't touched yet. Oh, you like know what? I, I can comment on a on a couple of them. I feel like all of my like bossing ones have just been passive, so those have been fine. I did go three oh, times raid at Hydra, so that was a little rough. Um, but like supply wise, awesome. But Guardians of the Rift, seven times rate for a needle. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that one's not fun. Who the hell balanced that mini game? Like, hey, you know what? Mini game, amazing, super fun, great addition to the game. Love all the rewards. Why is the reward shop useless for the two rewards you would actually want from there? Like outside of the outfit. Yeah. You eventually you have so many pearls, there's no use for them. Like, what are you gonna do? Buy more rings and sell them? Like, yeah. buy tiaras? No. Just the like, lantern was the one that always shocked me the most. It, it's only used inside the mini game, and you can't buy it in the shop. It's already it's rare as shit. It's like eight, one yeah. Eight, yeah. One. I, I got I got spooned it, but I was just like, this doesn't make any sense. Yeah, the fact that they put currency that you get four points from the game that you open a chest with that sometimes gives you a different currency to then go maybe buy things in the shop but also some of the things are rare from the chest i'm like yeah why, why is there four layers of rewards here just make it one yeah but uh yeah that that one was an absurd one i, I was getting mildly annoyed by the end of that one. <laughs> i have i have two grinds in mind one of them aerial is fishing. Like... No, I actually enjoyed aerial fishing, believe it oh or not. Oh god, you're, a, you're a <laughs> I didn't monster. do it in one sitting, you know, so it wasn't bad at all. But um, yeah, first one would be Dragon Warhammer first one. <laughs> because <laughs> when I grinded the first one, that was the item that actually made me quit the game. When, like, when I've got it, I've used up all of my Zolra scales because, bef like, I finished doing Zolra. I, I, Zolra took me 1.6k to get my blowpipe. And then I used all of those scales for Dragon Warhammer grind and I ran out of those scales. I've got the hammer and then I was like, oh, that, that's going to be so good. I'm going to send Bandos. I'm going to get, ra I'm going to do raids and whatnot. And it just burned me, burned me so hard. So I quit the game because I was working a lot that summer as well, and I basically quit the game for a year because of it. And then when I came back, I started doing Corrupted Gauntlet. Oh my gosh. And <laughs> yeah. So I went, yeah. I, Blade took me 926, and then they released Bofa, and Bofa took me 1.6k as well. So. so fuck. Yeah. Dry Those everywhere. were the two... I know, right? That's why I queued the name, Salty. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Man, you get everything clicks. <laughs> uh, oh my god. Uh, that's gonna be my next Iron Man, dude. Thanks. There you oh, go. I am. <laughs> that's your alt. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no offense, but I don't know how people can play UIM. It's a unique experience. An acquired taste, you know, like like bad food. I did I grinded forty three prayer on my UIM, started questing, immediately quit. Yeah. <laughs> to me it just seems like an annoying <laughs> game mode. It seems like like in the modern day with how many ways you could bank your stuff, it like it's almost like I don't want to say the challenge is removed, but it just seems more inconvenient than anything. Yeah, you're punished for hopping content and you you, you can't hoard. And I love yeah. hoarding shit, and I love hopping content, so it's just not for me. But I, I, I get the appeal. It is unique, and it is interesting. So yeah, I'm glad people yeah, enjoy yeah, it. For sure. So, but, so um, back to the grinds. What about you, Lone? So my favorite one is really weird, because like, it was actually one of the first logs I grinded before like I made YouTube videos, and it was the Shades of Morn log. I think I was like 800 slots when I did that grind. But for some reason, it was just so satisfying, you know, looking... Whoops, I almost spilled my water. Reading the wiki and, like, uh, reading the... Understanding how the keys work and then 
they be crafting yeah. which keys to grind so I can efficiently get two chests at the same time. And, and it's oh, still yeah. chipping away to green logging that section. It took yeah. me like 16 hours, but it was it was really chill. And I really enjoyed it, which is surprising because most people hated that log. And the other yeah, one... I, I, actually, the I think oh. I was there for like 60 hours. 60 hours? <laughs> yeah. You went dry for, on the me. I did like 1,600 logs worth. Oh my god! Oh, so, so you're drier than me. It took me 1.2k keys for zealots. Yeah, Jeez. I don't know if it tracks it in so the log. Much. If it tracks it, I'm gonna be scared now. I've been doing shades in the last couple of days. I'm only at like 400 chests open, but I'm. You, uh, you know what was funny too about more. shades of Morton for me? I've got, uh, basically, I've got everything and first three pieces in like 240-ish, I think it was KC, right? And then the last piece, the boots, I think it was, or was it the pot? I don't remember which one is the last piece. It took me 1k keys to get the last piece. Jeez, oh it's like my, seven that's times insane. rare. insane. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like exactly average so far at two out of four, pretty much. But yeah, so getting lucky on the outfit is essential. But you get elite yeah. clues, which is kind of cool. Yeah. yeah. So, 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 what about you, Fog? Um, I least favorite so far might just be like Brimhaven. Brimhaven is not very fun to me. Mm. Oh, this that one was movie. easy. Yeah, it, it was pretty easy. But I haven't actually green logged that much stuff yet, so it's kind of hard for me to pick. Ra raids might end up doing it for me because while I enjoy PVM, like 2K CMs is 100% going to burn me out. I'm not oh, sure yeah. how I'm going to get around it. Oh, I'm not. I'm if not I even ever go for the that 2K. one yet. Yeah. Yeah. I would like, just I'm not even sure I'll go You do a couple it. here and there. And like, uh, yeah. RNG and I were planning on like training the CC to do efficient CMs so we can uh, yeah. always be running them in the CC. Yeah, that would help. It's also, raids has not yeah, been great would. for me so far, just because the my raids log is, I feel like, it's been really weird. It's, like, my first ever raids item was a T-Bow. But oh overall, I don't <laughs> oh, have very many purples. Oh, my luck is bad. Like, oh, got a T-Bow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's why, that's why I, I needed to say cry. it's weird and not that it's bad. Because <laughs> after that, it took, like... Like, by the time I was 250-something oh. Chambers KC, it was still my only drop. Which Damn. is still worth it. Yeah, it's but still like, worth it's, it, but it's, like, it's kind of it's sad because you can't really... Because if you complain, people would just insult you. Yeah, and that is precisely yeah, what happened. I, I would right, just be like, right, man, it's so, been, like, 250 honestly. since I've seen a drop, and then all my friends are like, shut up, Spoon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I was the same. I spooned the first purple T-Bow. And uh, everyone was calling me a spoon, and I couldn't say anything about it. Yep. Bro, no way we didn't get the four down, dude. What God the fuck? Damn it. That's insane. Uh, but yeah, I, I think I'd, I really enjoyed the top log. It was so fun grinding tops slowly over time. Yeah. It took me like two Tob years. Top just feels like a really good raid to just like slam out KC. Oh, Bro, top's honestly, the best raid. If I wasn't a collection logger, I might still be a top right now. Just going yeah. for ranks. It's so fun. It's so much Wait, different. It... Like, Chambers, after you do a couple, I feel like I'm just like, alright, I'm like kind of ready to be done. But Tab is a lot easier to just keep sending. Yeah, the CMs Chambers is just to getting it, to but... Ulm. <laughs> yeah. It's like getting yeah, to Ulm Simulator. That's true. And one, I, like, it's it's actually weird, too, because, like, some of the grinds, I feel like I, like I started off and I just dislike it, and then eventually I start enjoying the grind. And when I finish it, I'm like, oh, that's it. I can't. Like, for example, Tight Farm. I started it off. I hated it so much. And eventually I was like, oh, you know, this isn't that bad. And then when yeah. I got the green lock, I was like, damn, that was kind of fun. I want to, I want to, I feel like I, I, do it again. I actually had the same thing with Tight Farm. And I was like, about us to extend the question, like, what were the log grinds that you dreaded doing for like, or delayed for so long? And then when you started doing it, you were like, oh, this isn't even bad. Well, oh, I yeah. assume for loan it's tight farm now. Yeah, and a lot of the mini game section like they seemed boring at first, and yeah. then they were ended up being like Giants found you was. It wasn't bad. It wasn't good, oh, awesome either. But it, it, 
like I kind of enjoyed it. It wasn't that bad. Once, yeah. Once you learn like efficient like little routes and metas and get the muscle memory and the idea of it, it's a lot more fun. Yeah, I, I felt that, that way. Had a lot of just vibe. Yeah. Mobile I felt that way with. It was with, great for um, me because it was the last uh, skill I needed to max. I waited. Oh, nice. I was like pushing to max, and then Foundry came out like as smithing became my last skill. Oh, no, saying, like that, 120 nice. gold for you. <laughs> yeah. I, I will say um, the gnome restaurant is one I did not expect to enjoy at all. I actually had a lot of fun doing it for some reason. I enjoyed it yeah. too, actually. Once you can do the skips, yeah. it's kind of fun. Yep, yep. Once you're like picking yours, and I think maybe it's just because you know, like each one has maybe a reward. Yeah, you know it'll be like a, a chance to what you need. Yeah. When yeah. I, when I did the gnome restaurant too, like I didn't even pre-made the foods because I just didn't mind doing it, you know. Plus, I had the experience from doing it on RS three because on RS three you could get the cooking outfit by the way the mini game, so it was. You know, kind of fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I even the one that, that log yet. yeah, the one that I really hate that I started what was you know, dread like didn't want to start doing was Soul Wars, and even after I started doing, now I've got the pet, but I've got the half points for the cape, and I just mm -hmm. don't want to go back because doloing that shit is so. Oh not, yeah, that's actually a one just, that's really bad. I forgot about that. Yeah. One. I do doing solar like normally one. is fun, but the dolo method is so bad. Oh, I don't tell yeah, me that. But, I gotta but, do it still. <laughs> bro, it's so yeah, bad. Yeah. Dude, like I, that's what I'm sitting here thinking. Well, it depends. Yeah, but, if you like alting and playing multiple accounts, you might enjoy it. But I hate it, so I really yeah. disliked it. But it's it's just so much quicker oh, than yeah. just playing I... normal solos. You just cannot not do it. You it's know? like it's like four times more efficient than boosting. Which, by the way, boosting isn't a thing anymore. I think the CC died. And it's like oh. eight times more efficient than doing Soul Wars normally. So you, you kind of have no choice. You have to do it. Yeah. That's how medium clues are too. I remember like before I knew any better, like when I had very first started, I was like still cannoning Fally Guards. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> actually, this is like a million times slower than Pro Pro. Bro, I was Pro, so Pro burnt sucks. From, from that grind that I was uh, AFKing Ice Warriors in the Wildy with Verunga of Wealth. Yeah. And that's how yeah, I was getting was... my medium clues. I, I went for my Joger champ scroll before I, like, did that much, because I was like, maybe I'll just get Ranger Boots from this thing instead. Bro, you know how I ended up yeah, getting it? I have it? to do them. It's really cringe. I was doing, I was fishing bombs because I was addicted to bombs for some reason back then. Mm -hmm. And I had a hard clue and an elite clue in my bank, so that way if I rolled one of those clues, it would downgrade the clue. Because that's yeah. how it worked back then. Not anymore, by the way. It doesn't work anymore. Oh, and really? I thought that's still how it worked. No, because now they roll independently ever since Combat Achievements came out. Oh. And uh, so I was f and I was getting like a medium clue every like hour and a half, which is like really bad. Yeah. But I was fishing bombs, so I was happy. <laughs> and I got my yeah, exactly. rangers from that. <laughs> from that's, the wall. That's insane. Wait, do you have a heron? Yeah, I, I got I got lucky on the heron. Uh, I assume you got it from Karams? Yes, I mean, 16 mil XP or 17 mil XP, I don't remember by heart. Ah, uh, fishing blondes is a beauty. I finally got the barrel for it. Oh, it makes it so oh, nice. Oh, dude, barrel is just... It's busted, actually, the barrel. The, the day I got yeah, the barrel, I spent so the next good. week and a half just AFKing blondes. I don't think I did anything else in the game for like a week and a half. I was yeah, like, this is was great. Like... That that was my thing that I would do when I was learning Inferno, and it it would just be Inferno, and then anytime I couldn't be doing Inferno, I was just fishing Karam ones. Man. I mean, like that barrel feels like Tebow for fishing because yeah. it literally yeah. just it's it just doubles your AFK time, which is awesome. Yeah, it just makes your life so much easier. But uh, let's move on to the next question here, which is actually the last one. So maybe we can ask other questions after. But uh, what content in OSRS is a turning point to become a, a collection logger? So, like, what content do you have to be doing where you officially become a collection logger? Probably trouble brewing. I, I feel like yeah, that's a good and answer. Yeah, and Castle Wars. That was going to be my yeah, answer, too. I, I feel like there's no nobody there that is not 
Because, like, you'll see the people come up, like, doing their diary. They're like, why is it just a bunch of Max people here? <laughs> I remember like, that they from... always ask the question, and then all of us are just yeah. like, we're all just being sad. Yeah, I would always troll them. They would be like, what do you have to do for the diary, AFK? They're like, why yeah. are you maxed yeah. here? And I would always write, it's... I'm doing the diary or something. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's it's sort of similar when you would, you know, have a skill cape on because you have a 99. And you would train that oh, I'm skill. A moron. You're, yeah, and and someone would say, "Why are you training? You are ninety nine already, bro." It's, that's yeah. It's that's literally yeah. What that's it is. like how you feel when you do trouble brewing with a max cape. Oh, uh, it's that's too funny. Yeah, I feel like that's gotta be like the quintessential one. Yeah, that one's like a dead ringer. I mean, yeah. technically, even until like. Just very, very recently, I never touched either of those logs. I still need to do Trouble Brewing, but I started Castle Wars. Yeah. And it was kind of like the Buon situation where I did it for three straight days, and I got up to 100 tickets in those three days. Yeah. Because I was like, man, when I'm when I'm just reading uh, reading manga or like watching videos or doing other stuff and AFKing this, I, I sure put in a lot of hours on it. Yeah, it's it's really easy for sure. Yeah, it's like whenever I play like week with people, I always pop Castle Wars. I think it's like you know Castle Wars and Trouble Ring is like the stepping stone to becoming like a true collection logger. But the actual like gateway to collection logging is like the false line wyvern notes, and like the easy easy <laughs> shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I would like, also yeah. that's too. Like I would they decide also they want to do for um... log, and then they instantly knock them. Knock them <laughs> I would say the clues. Good as well because i know a lot of people yeah. that just don't do clues they're like yeah, no I, that's it's true. a waste of time yeah maybe, I, I maybe like, clues that is like do if... stuff with them in the bank and i'm just like ah <laughs> maybe clues if you know you get them to the point where you get the clue related item once you pass a certain kc you also you really know you're like a collection logger when you stop the slayer task to do the clue mid task Instead yeah. of just banking it, yeah. and you're like, okay, I, Wait, I'm do you, part do of you guys do that though? Oh yeah, I, I yeah, do. It depends now, yeah. what step though, uh, what what pass, but most of the time, yeah. Holy shit! I feel bad now because I don't leave. <laughs> well, for yeah, a you it's not that leave, bad of a deal, but... but for an elite clue, if you don't leave, you're banned. Oh, for elite, say leave from anything, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're I... too hard to. Good. Nah, if, I, if I'm doing Dagonoth Bursting and I get a medium clue, I'm out. I'm going to do that clue. Yep. I say, you know what? It takes me three seconds to set this back up. No problem. Yeah, I, I just cannon yeah. my Dagonoth in the lighthouse, but I literally bring my full medium clue set up with me because you don't need anything else. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Just bank it when you need shit. Yeah, I, I just like go to the tab and just grab all the teleports. All right, so I guess we can move on to the conclusion. So these are like some two questions for the conclusion. So mm -hmm. uh, firstly, you know, where do you, I mean, we'll put the questions together because they're similar. So like, where do you see yourself in a few years in the game? And more specifically, where do you see collection log in one, three, and five years? Hmm. I can start. Go for it. Um, one million say... YouTube subscribers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I for a year ahead, let's say I see myself hopefully with around one point one k slot log slots. That's like I don't think that's too much to ask, since I believe in the next upcoming year we'll get even more free collection log slots. Plus, I have a shitload of free slots I could do any time. And for collection log, I f like let's say one, three, five years, I see some kind of an item that represents visually how many log slots approximately you have. Oh, I feel like, like the, we're uh, gonna get the, something uh, like that. Like the cape, for example. Or the book I think he had in the offhand book. Which yeah, I remember reading slots. that Reddit post. I actually really like that book. That'd be cool. They got posted. Yeah. Yeah, so I believe we are gonna get some kind of like an item like that in the next upcoming years or whatever. 
I hope so. I, I would like to see that in the game. Yeah. So that's my opinion. Um, I guess for me, kind of similar. I, I would say either like 1050 or one one K slots in about a year for me. Um, they probably I'll try and get close to GM CAs in a year as well, probably. Because I want to be doing that on the side. Uh, and then probably a similar state. I think I, I agree. I think Jagex is going to cater toward people who can who are like going for completing the collection log. I think they're going to release updates with that in mind. Yeah. Going forward. So I, I don't think we're going to see another like stale baguette or jar of darkness or dragonstone armor. Like I don't think it, uh, uh, anything like that's going to come into the game from this point forward. Like I guess a, uh, yeah, I get just, another like, completely unreasonable. <laughs> Can I get another uh, nightmare slash next boss? You know, another <laughs> Hell yes. 300 to 1500 fun. hours. I mean, I mean, <laughs> if that happens, they might as well release a silver chicken outfit so you can stack on brews by doing birdhouse runs. <laughs> another another set of evil chicken you can grind, but you have to have the evil chicken outfit to be able to grind it. You need, oh to add, you need to add, you, you add need, your god you egg to, to your enhanced key. Oh no, and please then... don't see that. <laughs> and Hans crystal egg. Oh That's my god, that'd be so good. Fuck, fuck one, crystal shards. One in a thousand per piece, but they're all on their own separate tables, so it's split one, one times five thousand. No, yeah. no dupe protection either, for yeah, sure. No, of course oh not. yeah, hundred percent. Fuck dupe protection, it's too easy. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Oh man. And I guess uh, for me, I would be like a very similar situation to Fulgor and and Suji and getting over a thousand slots and trying to get. I think I can feasibly get master combat achievements done next year and be pushing towards grandmaster still. Mm -hmm. Dude, I'm down to help you out for the ESCM ones. Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, I I know I I can do it. I have I have the capacity. It's just learning and getting teammates. The uh, C master CM tasks are actually kind of fun too. Like the five man sub thirty is doable with all irons, and it's really fun. Yeah, it's kind of funny how some of those work. Like the uh, the hard mode tab is basically free times, from what I've heard. Uh, yeah, assuming same you know with like same yeah. with. Yeah, same with like CM solo time, but then uh, regular solo time is like super hard to hit. I I found the uh, CM solo to be harder than the regular solo. The regular solo was just getting a VTV. Yeah, which is like a good layout to, for those who don't know. Yeah, but like um, yeah. Oh, that. But the five man CM time is disgusting as an iron if you don't have any like if you don't have any normie friends to carry you. Yeah, I, I I was considering like do like going having to go to services at some point. I had I forgot to do that who it for was. Yeah, I'm just gonna pay like, loan a lot and of the people help the RNG and Heffy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you get you do that. It's like a lot of the people that have the helm at this point are like, uh, they're already like those are the good people pretty much. The people working towards it are like a tier below. So it's like unless you do services, it's gonna be really hard to find a group. That's just that's what I was talking to RNG to carry about. You. Like oh yeah, the Tob gamers right all now, got their it's, helmet it's in a brutal. year. Yeah, they, like for yeah. Tob speeds, there's no gamers doing it anymore. So you have to run with we do raids, people that are still learning, and it, yeah. it's like the perfect theater one is rough right now. No clients, no gamers. <laughs> like I feel bad for anyone going for that, bro. Yeah, I, I know somebody who, who just needs perfect Versic to have masters done, and like Ugh, it, it's just one's so AIDS, hard to get dude. people together. And able to do it, especially people good enough, because like I haven't done that much Tob. I, I run like a decent amount with him, but like I cannot promise any perfect versic consistency at all. So it's like that doesn't help either. It's not that bad. You're on voice and you're calling prayers. It could be yeah. Horrible. Tell your friend I'll do Just it for him reps. for uh, ten bird eggs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Loan needs more. Uh, he needs more event money. He's gonna have to start doing services. But uh, like my uh, my perfect beater one, 
uh, I found like a uh, one dude who's like really good at Tob, and he does tickets. So like people do services and they give him their accounts, mm -hmm. and then he logs on the account and does the tasks. So he's like, "Yo, do you want to help me out for like a uh, perfect Tob?" And I'm like, "Sure." Yeah. And I went with him, and he was playing some account, and I'm not gonna name his name because like it's kind of mean. And uh, yeah. another dude who was doing it for GP, and they both made 200 mil each. And he asked me, he's like, if we get the time, do you want 200 mil? And I'm like, nah, I don't care about GP. Like, if we get the task, I'll be super happy. And we yeah. two and done it. It took me an hour. He got perfect wow. top. <laughs> and I was just oh, like... that's pretty nice. I was like... And the first time, we failed it at Zarpus because, uh, like, the RNG on P1 exhumes. Yeah. Just got unlucky. Oh, that's, like, the worst part for perfect top from what I've seen. Yeah, it's yeah. just you have to be good luck. perfect, and then you can just get screwed, yeah. We were taking and it's so too. late. It's the second to last room. Like you gotta be kidding me. But like it was so clean, no issues. And and I remember like people telling me how that one's the hardest one for Zuckham, and I was like, nah, that's the easiest. But also like I I was sixteen hundred tops deep, so like obviously I was maybe overqualified for it. Or yeah, yeah, you had the experience. But still, it was kind of fun. Uh, but I guess I'll go next. So. Where do I see myself in a few years? Hopefully not playing RS. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, yeah. But um, I think I'll, I'll probably still be playing Collection Log for the next year or two at least. But I do want to push for 1200 in Zuckhelm for sure. And um, actually, I have a question for you guys too for um, 2 Caves. Like, how cringe do you think my youtube videos would be if i just full send cms um um because all the clips would be still... is me getting a, getting or seeing purples kits and dust that's all i mean that does be. sound fun and i'm sure you'd have some other things you'd mix up occasionally yeah, i mean i guess but i would I'll always be potting with teams in the cc or i would just go weedy raids and pot with strangers. I mean, I mean, as a concept, it does sound nice because you're working towards a really impressive goal. But long term, it, of course, it's obvious that it might get repetitive and like <laughs> super repetitive. It, <laughs> yeah, yeah sure. like it, your your view count might drop, like because people might lose interest because they will just turn on their YouTube and they see, oh fuck, it's that still doing chambers. Wolf. Yeah, it's it's fuck me. The the wallpaper was of this video is chambers again. Fuck this. Because it's like yeah. it's literally yeah. like nine months of degening chambers. Yeah. So case. like, but like you can never know. Maybe you know like these videos. Maybe you know they would be quite rare because obviously you need loads of kills to get the content done for a video. So maybe people would just tune in and hear listen to you laugh. Laugh when I get purples and make money. No, laugh when you're. On your edibles. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Bro, true. last night edible tour four tens was probably like the top three best edible experiences in my life. <laughs> Bro, it was so fun. Dude. Yeah. But yeah, that's a it's interesting take, I guess, because I was thinking of sending it, and then I was like, oh, it would be kind of cringe to just be doing chambers nonstop. And but I guess you. I would juggle. I, mean, I guess it's a. Events. It's like a personal mental thing, but you might end up burning yourself out doing it too. Yeah. That, that's like a that's a high order to do that. Yeah, maybe. I definitely I could not do that if it were me. Just chambers. But it's just that, like no, so many straight. people don't have it, so it'd be like a nice flex. And then going oh, for yeah, two K yeah, toes massive. as well. Yeah, massive. It'd be awesome. Flex for sure. But uh, yeah, I guess okay. So in terms of uh, where do I see collection logging, I think uh, it's gonna it's right now collection logging is kind of like an, an incline. It's rising in popularity, and I feel like it will peak up in maybe a year, and it's going to decline. Uh, I think it's. A it's like the hot thing right now, for yeah. sure. It's yeah. a little over. Well, I mean, a little bit like perfect uh, example was that guy the other day that like blew up oh, overnight. Yeah. <laughs> he actually oh, watched my friend. videos too. He commented on. Yeah, that. mine too, dude. What the hell? Yeah, he said. Yeah, no, and he's, he even he's said like it pretty in chill the, in the, the yeah, collection he, log. He he's caught. He wrote yeah. that, like, I feel bad because I watch most of you guys. And he just went from zero subs to, like, 3K subs yeah. in, like, two yeah. days. 
It's yeah, crazy. I lit I literally commented on his first video you just uploaded and destroyed all the competition. <laughs> <laughs> and and he literally on my next vid he responded, I watch you do love the videos, and I was like, what the fuck? But it, honestly, yeah. like his video he made was really well edited, really well done. It was so. phenomenal, so dude. He, he that video knows was what he's doing, so that's good. Yeah, that was yeah. so good. And not to mention, like when I think nine two was speaking in the clan chat too, right? When you you told me about that video, and when people you know were talking about describing to me, saying like this guy just uploaded episode zero with a Zuck helm, and I'm like mm -hmm. shit. <laughs> yeah, nobody. It was just a thumbnail. He doesn't actually have a Zuck helm. Yeah, but he does have it, no? On his main, does he have uh, a Zuck helm? No, one on his main, he doesn't have it. Oh. But that but just goes to show how like Zuck Helm is just like so, yeah. Uh, oh yeah, no, it's not... yeah, yeah. I definitely clicked when I saw that, and then like you know the <laughs> editing and the intro. He just was easy enough to watch. Like it was yeah, enjoyable. The introduction it was really well done. I actually, I, I actually got a couple of points as well. If you guys want to talk about now that I that you mentioned him, first one being like as we all agree now, he's a top tier PVM or gamer, right? And like as both me and Lone were surprised, he watches both of our videos. Like that just proves that people do not care either you are like a degen or you're like top tier PVM. If the quality or like the content is fun and engaging, people do watch it. They don't care yeah. what your collection log amount number is and how many subscribers you have. They just do it. They watch it. And yeah. other and the other thing is that I wanted to ask. Uh, do you think anyone will pass Basil Basil Basilius? Basilius? Oh, he's Lithuanian. I could see, but it's actually he's it's pronounced Basilius because he's Lithuanian and I am. Okay, I but... know. I just always butcher his name. Anyway. <laughs> but yeah, I just wanted because him and Casey they are really really close one to next to one of another. I actually asked Casey. He said he's not going for it, but he thinks that pass of the heat it might happen. And the other thing I wanted to ask, do you think in the next year we might see Jace getting to top three? Uh, Jace, for Jace to get to top three, he has to yeah. stop degening clues and do other mm -hmm. things. Which but honestly, he does like, other things, dude. No, but he has to like not You mean completely clues. stop clues. Yeah, because clues are like I know it's really fun and it's awesome and I think you should keep the clues. But if he strictly wants to get top three Collection lock, he has to do other shit that gives fast I mean, slots per hour. I mean, but he does keep doing clues because he doesn't have the bloody Bloodhound. <laughs> yeah, but Bloodhound hours per collection lock slot is so shit, so there's better things to do. Yeah, yeah, but I I totally see in the next year him getting the pass. Oh, I see him and then passing everyone too, because he just plays yeah, really he's, efficiently. Yeah, he's yeah, just his, so... Yeah, his... Efficiency, his hours, like his mental is obviously like phenomenal. Yeah, yeah. two, two years can, down the line, can... it's gonna be like him and Higer. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> dude. Fun fact I mean... about the Basilicus, I for sure yeah. butchered it, but he has killed thirty thousand Mithril dragons, seven hundred chewed bones, still no full home. Oh my god, oh, <laughs> that's like. Dude. That's like five I mean, x the... no four x rate, I guess. Almost. I mean, you you uh, might yeah, like do have. I mean, loan. Do you have his X. log? Do you have his loan uh, log opened? Uh, no, I just because he posted it in the collection log Discord because it caps at three hundred fifty. Oh, yeah. uh, uh, because you might want to shout another one of his grinds, because he, I believe, he's at around eighty k revenants and he doesn't oh, have it green logs. Yeah, he's missing wow, the yeah. mace. That's pain, dude. Oh, oh, I just shit, died. Fuck <laughs> oh, no, I tried to hit I did too. I was chuckling at that. Oh, he got the bones. <laughs> My prayer experience. you fucking hell the disrespect. <laughs> Dude, it's funny because we're all just waiting for someone to plank. <laughs> prayer, is, uh, prayer is zero time. Actually, um, speaking of revs, what are you guys' thoughts... Like from collection logging in the future, I mean, do you guys think enough stuff will be changed retroactively to where it's it becomes just worth it to wait on things? 
I mean, that's it's always, always been game, for revs. Yeah. That's for yeah, everything. Yeah, I guess it always game. does. Like, the actual meta is to just log off. Yeah. Oh, I, I do that meta <laughs> yeah. all the time. <laughs> it's definitely helping for a lot. Like, revs are going to be so much nicer to me knowing that the rate is going to be just way less for a weapon than it would have been otherwise. But yeah, yeah, I'm it, waiting it's, on it's part of the right risk now. of doing like certain grinds where it'll get it could get devalued. And if yeah. it does, then it's just like ah. Like what's a good example of something I did that got devalued? Uh so talking how many revenants KC do you guys each have? Like seven thousand. What? Yeah, I'm at yeah, I'm at eight K. I'm looking at it right now, mid mid Solcano. Got a solid two hundred and ninety one. Yeah. Okay, so you so you guys basically are ahead of me and loan because you waited. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <Congrats. laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> oh, I guess like the yeah, yeah, slot I have is the ether. Yeah, but I have uh, like I have like seven hundred bracelets, which is nice. They're gonna be nice destroy for ether. Oh yeah, I have a handful of those. Nothing, you know, a couple, a couple uh, emblem things, whatever they are, they're like little statues. Yeah, oh, yeah. keep those for. I have. I, I still need one statuette, the four mil one. I have a ton of those. I have like three unique statuettes and like eight in total. I, I just kept getting dupes, but uh, whatever. Yeah, at least that one's getting buffed soon so i guess we'll be able to solidly green log that one at least yeah it was always funny uh, from like a efficiency perspective that unless you were going to green log revs as an iron man it was just never worth going for rev weapons even if you wanted yeah. to get all wilderness bosses yeah. you just lose time <laughs> it's so long of a grind that it's not worth doing yeah, like it, I mean, the GP a, and everything now, always though, nice because of uh, the yeah, new will be bosses rework. Yeah, I'm talking about the rework bosses. I wanted to ask you, what do you guys think about them just continuing to add new drops or content on the bosses that people like finished ages ago and they have to go back to it again? Uh, not a I'm huge not a fan. fan. Yeah. The it with the wilderness bosses are a weird case because they've been complained about for so long and like they were always going to change them yeah but adding new stuff is always just not preferable to me like if I, do you know, imagine how limp work feels having to go back to kq after all that now for oh my pick. god <laughs> for, for the deep pick like like that stuff happening to people that's just annoying wait did they add deep pick to calphite queen they will eventually yeah, yeah. but it, it passed the poll yeah are you serious? Yep. Yep. Oh my god, poor guy, well, dude. Well, I think another good example is like the jar that went to thermonuclear yeah. smoke devil. Oh, like, yeah. yeah. That's cool. Well, cor like, corporeal beast, too, I guess, if you had that yep, one done. Yep. But... Imagine yeah. having that done and then being like, oh, looks like I gotta go back for the jar. <laughs> no <Yeah>. way in hell. <laughs> Being, yeah, you know, like just... Iron Equity, who was what was it, like 11k or something for the Ellie before. I think he did it before the jar finish or was released. I don't yeah. remember, but yeah, he wouldn't do good dry on that. Yeah, I wish they somewhat stopped doing that. Like, I wanted to start it, I like that's why I started doing grabs because I wanted to get at least one weapon so I could start doing those bosses. And I just, you know, when they started talking about polling shit and new drops, I just completely ignored the wildy bosses because I would yep. need to go back to them again, anyways. Yep. That, that's why I haven't been, I've done like nothing in the wilderness because I was yeah, just like, same, it's going to be same. way better macro to just wait for them to buff revs and then do all that and then do all the bosses. Yeah, Man, that's, I got that's a... I... I've got motivation now with this volcano shard in my inventory. Yeah, <laughs> that's actually funny. I'm yeah. so happy we got something during the cast. Yeah, I'm, this could I'm, be my if you, TOA if you don't mind, I am gonna conclude it in my video. I recorded it. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Did I record it? Did I clip it? Ah, whatever. It'll be in your video. And loans, loans gonna at the end of this one be like, oh guys, yeah, I wasn't I, recording. Yeah, yeah, I did the same <laughs> show last time. Yeah, yeah, good I'll, try. I'll sit I'll send you the clip, man. It's fine. You can add it to your video too. No, nah, that video's gonna be in three months anyway, so 
Oh yeah, right. Forgot about that. <laughs> how the fuck yeah. do you have? Sorry for the cursing, but how the hell do you have so much footage stacked up? I still don't get it, dude. <laughs> Bro, every time something funny happens, I just click on the uh, the record button, or like the clip button. Sorry. Like, yeah. do do you watch do you watch that uh, low soul gamers person? Oh, uh, Dave. Yes, but not. Yeah, Dave. Yep. Like, I watch him too. Like, I enjoy his videos. But like to, he uploaded the new video today and today at work like a couple of hours before I finished work like I had some free time so you know I made myself some coffee and watched his new vid and I you know took a gander at his collection log and it's like oh it's whatever number out of 1403 and I'm like wait we're at 1430 There's so yeah, loud yeah, like, he has so much footage as well, like, how the hell? But it is a nice feeling, though, honestly, to have, like, right now I have oh, a two-month buffer, and I don't have to sweat anything. Like, when I went to Mexico for a week, I literally pre-uploaded my video and just left, no stress. And while yeah. I was in Mexico, the video automatically uploaded to YouTube. And I was like, ah, this is so yeah. chill. And I, I can pre-upload, like, it. five, six episodes if I wanted to, like, grind editing for, like, a weekend. It auto just... uploaded and help me RNG auto uh, <laughs> first first liked it and posted it in the CC for you. <laughs> I know it's great. Is so funny RNG. Yeah. I just since I don't have that much time, I just whenever I have enough footage, I render like I edit the video and that like if it's okay, if it if if it feels like I achieved enough or gotten items, then I just you know upload it. I upload it just whenever I finish editing and send it full way seems to be working us as i mentioned last two bits popped up so thank you guys oh yeah <laughs> hell yeah one thing that's sad too is uh, like i had three episodes in a row where i didn't gain a single collection log slot and i was just like yeah but that's gonna happen even more in the future yeah, it's like more and more common it's gonna happen so yeah but i mean you can you can send a freaking month of the, the same boss that you need the pet you're gonna get like so many uniques, but not a single u new unique. So <laughs> it's true. Hundred hours it's kind of TQ. Yeah. yeah, I mean, especially when you're doing your, you know, your theoretical CM grind. Yeah. Which. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be a long, long road. Should be like up oh, six months two later. Toa first though, because that two Toa is like more fresh. I don't know, man. Maybe I do both at the same yeah. time. Yeah, I feel like both are good graduals. Yeah. I feel like if you're gonna just send 2k, you're just gonna burn out, and we don't want that, dude. <laughs> I'm actually kind of strong already... on not burning out, which is surprising. We, al we already lost not hard, man. We can't lose another oh, oh, dude. So sad. You're gonna make uh, me cry? I am happy. He, he did I, sound I, like I did, he was in a I... good like IRL situation, though, last I heard, yeah. so I'm happy for him. Yeah, hopefully... Yeah, that's uh... actually... He's good. Yeah, I, he got promoted, right? Uh, I think it was that he like moved in with his girlfriend. Yeah. Yeah, that too. I I remember the last time we actually talked as well. And what f funny thing is, we met each other through YouTube as well. He commented on my videos, like like nice to see something like you know similar to mine and whatnot. I clicked on his channel, and the, and he like third he had like thirteen collection log episodes. I was like, what the shit. I just binged them all, and then I, well, I think then Lone PM'd me one day, right? Yeah, uh, and then that's how... I think so, too, because you had your public on, and I was like, oh. Yeah, and that's how we met. <laughs> yeah, and that's how we became friends, too. I joined Olympus, met because of Not Hard, and now I'm here. The true path to collection logging post-max is join <laughs> Olympus, quit Olympus, join 07 Iron. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, that one's that one's rough, buddy. Yeah, I've always wondered what it was like in those like well-known clans, because I didn't no, you I don't. didn't deal with any CC whatsoever until I joined this one. Per Nate, dude, it's You're... it's too much. It's too much spam to have the you max your total level in that clan. So enough said. Well, the clan oh, is this? very focused this on guy? CC, so that's mm. like. If you're like a really skiller focused mindset, you, you would like it, but if you're not, you probably wouldn't like it. Oh, we're getting crashed. Yeah. yeah. That's all just Oh, yeah, there's mark. a guy in here. I didn't notice he was he, there. He, 
You know how you know how when you say them when they are full? Yeah, they say F U L. They only put one L. This they say it like this. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, I don't know why they just type the the entire bar for a full of L letters. Yeah. I wanna make sure. Dude, he has a 99 mining cave. Oh my god, yeah, he, he has probably... 10,000 Zolkino kill kills. <laughs> I, I was about to say he probably has 20k Zolkino kills, but that's close enough. Dude, he's... What is rank? He's rank 47, bro. What? You know what's Holy funny, shit. too? Not you even know what's funny too? You, you know how you recognize the Venny bots from a regular player? They all have their names in caps. Like their full yeah, names? true. Yeah, they are. They all have their names are full in caps. Damn. Well, That's I mean, it goes crazy. on like their, it goes on their hiring paperwork, you know. <laughs> it's not a touchy <laughs> subject, <laughs> but yeah. yeah. <laughs> first, first seed I've seen, I lost to a Vinny bot, and he didn't even fucking react, and it was my MVP. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, all the drops that I've seen, aside from 92's shard now, was my me fees that I did. I cried to loan instantly as well. <laughs> yeah, that, that was the only Zolcano drop I've seen so far. I, like, just passed on yeah. KC. I've seen two seeds and two shards now. He's gonna and snipe a drop, to... isn't he, man? <laughs> right now? <laughs> Dude, man, he gets pet right here. <laughs> Boom, gets the seed. Oh, I was racing. I was actually second. waiting for it right there. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he entered late, man. He couldn't out DPS us. But let's see this last kill. If he's gonna do it or not. Well, he has a crystal pick, so he pick, so he so definitely it's all can out DPS us. To carry with his crystal pick. Oh yeah. man, I'm only half paying attention. But um, anyway, yeah, I guess we're like wrapping up, and I'm really hungry. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, he's not a boss. Oh, the, the disrespect. <laughs> <laughs> he just shamed us, boys. That's valuable time he could have been mining. I think he just gave up. He's running, man. Oh, yeah, he's just leaving. <laughs> <laughs> what a bizarre <laughs> set of circumstances. <laughs> Fuck it. Dude, you should have... You should have kick a quick chat at your TOB KC, not TOA time. My TOB KC split into hard mode and regular, so it's I, I guess I could have flexed my hard mode KC. Yeah, your hard mode KC is pretty nuts. I lost two ranks though. Just sad. Oh, yeah, that, that's how uh, you yeah. know grinds start to get like really serious oh. when you're just like grinding something and you just keep being, oh, let me check the high scores. We won't get not up there. Check the high scores. Like, oh shit, I'm rank seven. <laughs> Yeah, like that's, how, that's the... how mediums are for me. I'm like, ooh, okay, top 100. All right. <laughs> when we had the skilling comp, Kranz went up by one rank, and I was like, whoa, one rank? <laughs> yeah, which is actually huge for him. Cause like... Yeah, he went from like 42 to 41. <laughs> Alrighty, so I guess we we can wrap it up here. So um... yeah, That sounds good. Yeah, shout notes. out 07 Iron uh, Clan Chat. It's real cool. We got some nice people in there. True. And oh, we have sure. a, the race event next weekend that starts. It's going to be really awesome. And Sign up. Sign up uh, as in someone that's in here that's not signed up. Feel free. Yeah. <laughs> if, you're not, if you're not signed up and you're in this podcast, make sure you're signed up. Jesus Christ, guys. <laughs> <laughs> It's like you can, straight you up can bullying salty dude. I know, sign up right? to be a bench warmer. It's it's half past one for AM for me, dude. True, Chad. At least I I have three days off now since tomorrow, so I can send some raids with I'm Snake. Hell is yeah. he online? Yes, he is. That's my duo Cox partner for life now. <laughs> We're gonna, we're, we're, we're gonna get Tebow's before Brown Tree. Mark my words, man. Bro, everyone's gonna get a Tebow before Brown, Brown Tree, dude. Or, yeah, between honestly, the two of you guys, I gotta give you a can shout do, out to Brown you can do Tree. Two yeah. yeah, Brown Tree's a stay strong chat, Brown dude. Tree. He's just a gamer. Yeah, shout chat, out to dude. He's yeah, all shout out to number two solo CMs, bro. All solos in two months, dude. He's an actually crap.
Not sure how he's not yet burned, to be honest. Dude, he's unburnable, man. That's oh, why his spirit going. gave up a long time ago, but he's just still going. <laughs> I'm honestly really sad, though, he wasn't able to participate, because he's ranked, yeah, he's like, been cool 1100 him. slots in the CC, so... Would've been cool to get him here, but he, he wasn't he wasn't down for it, so... Unfortunate. Bad RNG, I guess. True. Is this gonna beat you to two K C M capes? Dude, he probably will, bro. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he said he's not doing a single more cox after he gets the ball. Yeah, he's gonna go back to Toa, I think. But uh, yeah, that's it's just wrap it up here then. So boys, it was a pleasure to fuck around and talk about collection log. That was great. I hope yeah, that you guys man. listening enjoyed this Thanks. three hour session as well. And so... uh, we're safe for the invite. I know. Where he's and last time. drop is. Never luck. No, you need. Steel bars, cannonballs. <laughs> <laughs> but cheers, um, guys. Yeah, so next episode yeah. is going to be um, focused on the race event. We're going to talk about the comp, how it went, how it worked out, how the designing went, uh, how past events were. And we're going to have me and Pharaoh as the host, since we've both been designing the events. And we're going to have two captains invited and also two players invited to discuss. So it should be really fun. So stay tuned for that. And yeah, that's it. Any final words? When I grow up, I want to be as cool as Lone Gene Red. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, second that. See, no way that's yeah, your final true. words. <laughs> <laughs> Also, subscribe to Lone Gene Rat on YouTube. And subscribe to Salty yep. Devo, too. I'm yep, going to put his link in the description. Cheers. That's and, why uh, I we're to just get waiting on Fergor and uh, 9227 to make their own series. Folk. Oh, you beat me by four shards, 92. Nice. <laughs> How many shards did you guys get, Folk and Lone? Oh, fuck, I don't know because I brought my entire shard stack. Uh, are you not on Runelight? Just track your current session. Just tracked on Runelight. I'll have to check the clip. Don't you have the loot logger? Yeah, but it tracks like previous kills from like weeks ago when crayons. Yeah, but do you hold? Do you know the one that looks like a coal bag or whatever? Oh yeah, or, I have that one. Ah. If you put put it. Oh that yeah, that has like topic, current so session. Current session, yeah. I, I got ninety one from this. Ooh, oh, so you months. kicked both of our asses. Yeah. Well, I, I only had eight MVPs. <laughs> I had, uh, what, I have 11. I didn't get many, dude. I was not focused. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, cheers, guys. Uh, I'm cheers. gonna go to yeah. sleep. It's Good 2 a.m. Hell for yeah. Me. <laughs> I'm gonna go pop. Thanks yeah. a lot for, yeah, thanks a lot for waiting, by the way, guys. I appreciate it. No worries. Oh, yeah, man. It was, it was yeah. great yeah. Hearing, hearing from you. Yeah. So, cheers. See ya. Yeah. See ya, boys. Catch See you guys later.